the boo, Big Mama yeah. Prods on Twitter, and he's telling me he might be <laughs> bailing on the Twitter thing. Patrice O'Neill. I don't, uh, I don't uh, totally disagree, but uh, I, I enjoy Patrice's tweets very much. Yeah. But I got to tell you something. The access that it gives people. I just had to block someone that I never really had that big a problem with, because what I ended up doing, I, I set my phone so I could get direct messages on my phone, so it comes up uh, like a text. So whenever I get a direct message, it comes up like a text. Oh, okay. You can turn it on and off and shit like that. But then this one guy just kept fucking DMing me, and and it was like, it was like I'm I'm it's like I gave him my phone number. Yeah. It's like I gave very, him my fucking phone very number. Very interesting you say that. I I feel like that. I feel like that in yeah. general without the DM. It's, right, right. It's that it's your phone number. It's like if I call you mm -hmm. and we're friends, and I go, "Hey, what's up, fucker?" And yeah, you go, what's yeah. up, motherfucker? Yeah, asshole. That's fine. Because it's you. But it's like if somebody calls you, you don't know you. They don't yeah. know you, and they go, "Hey, fat fuck." Hey, dick. Or, hey, faggot. Hey, hey faggot. Yeah, or yeah. Dummy. It's like really. And I'm not sure. Yeah. Even at, at this point, though, even though I'm not sure, you get blocked. And I and I <laughs> yes. And I put you down as a spam. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I've reported people as spam. Blocked and, and spam. spam. <laughs> don't you feel like you're doing something when you do that? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm fucking. I'm going to report you bit. as a piece of shit. <laughs> Like you are a piece of like, shit. Don't, don't reach. I don't like. But there's some people that get it. Mm -hmm. Like there's a guy, uh, Vag Poop, I think, <laughs> that follows me. <laughs> and uh, he, I, his, me, he's in the tone of meanness that's uh, he understands. Mm -hmm. So I, I let him go. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. he does things. You go, wait a minute, Vag Poop. But you go, ah. I've done the same fucking lady, thing. Lady Trucker is kind of retarded, but she's like, <laughs> yeah. But you keep her, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. she's in the in the tone. But there's people that just. I've had people say some nasty shit, and then I check them out, you know, see what they're all about. I check a few tweets that they did, and I realize, all right, he's trying to just you, be you, one you of the guys. You do. You do covert. You do some yeah, research. Yeah, yeah, I do a little research. I do that too. It's sometimes it, it's insta block. I don't even care. Sometimes I'm like, I don't have time or patience to research to this figure guy. It out. But sometimes I look in and look at a few tweets and realize, all right, he's just a dickhead, or you know, he's a fan of the show and just trying to be one of the guys, and I'll leave him alone. It's yeah. and it's different. Let me tell you, that block. Yeah, yeah. I block my girl just to see what happens, like just to see, <laughs> it's. It's it's real. You, <laughs> you go away. It <laughs> fucking it took ten good motherfucking minutes, and my girl is a, has a black belt in Twitter to fucking <laughs> get her unblocked. Really? I'm telling you, blocked is a motherfucker. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So it's get a, it's your a, shit. Sorry, go ahead. It's a poof on the internet. It, you just it, go away. Yeah. You can't <laughs> say. But that's why I go by Big Mama Prods. Yeah. Because Patrice O'Neill. I'll just look at general fuck hymns all day long. And <laughs> yeah. I'm not a rapper. I don't fucking go, haters. I yeah, love yeah. haters. Nah. Not I don't all. want, I hope you die diabetes, guys. <laughs> Jesus. But when they do at Big Mama Prize, what happens is I can't block everybody that might say Patrice O'Neill. But I can block everybody who fucks around with at Big Mama Prods. Mm -hmm. So get it all in in your 140 characters. Yeah. Because you're gone. You're getting and fucking blocked. And if anybody asks to unblock, like I get guys that go, Thank you. Hey, man, I'll sacrifice myself if you unblock them and you can block me. How about I block you all? Yeah, now I you're all don't blocked. Un I met somebody at your party mm -hmm. on uh, Labor Day. That was blocked. And they were blocked. And then she was like, can you unblock? I said, sure. And then I'm, I go, oh, I forgot. Damn. Ah, eh. eh, whatever. And they can't, they cannot fuck with you. Yeah. They, they could Patrice O'Neal all day, but I don't look at Patrice O'Neal tweets. Don't look at it. Don't even try to find out. And I don't fucking care because they usually have like five followers. So they're not, they could badmouth me all they want. They're getting to five fucking people. No one cares. There's some that might have, uh, like I blocked a dude, black dude, um, and his, he goes, yo, um, you was weak on the roast, man. You, um, you was whack on the roast. Yo, you didn't come at you didn't come at those white people hard enough, and you oh, you act like your feelings was like I said, I, I I didn't block him for that. I blocked him for his complete mis breakdown. His, his, his interpretation of, yeah, yeah, yeah. was despicable. He doesn't deserve 
the right to read your shit if he can't understand. He don't get it. Watching he you. He came out of nowhere. He don't yeah. even know me. And it's yeah. just like, here's what I think of you at Big Mama Prods. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. later. And can't... when people when people fucking beg for other people to be unblocked, like you were saying, they get blocked. They get blocked. And I, I will. And and then it's like, I don't know why you blocked so and so. It's like. Look, I can't look back and tell you why, but I know one thing. I don't block people for trivial shit, so he must have done something that I, on that day, thought, that's fucked up, it's worth a block, so I'm not unblocking anybody. No, if I don't get it, mm -hmm. it's gone. If I go, is this a ONA mean or is this straight up? Is this some guy straight up mean? who listens yeah, yeah. to the show and goes douche? You know, he calls me a douchebag. A douchebag, yeah. And I told Norton I may start blocking um uh chip chips. Yeah, yeah. I, I may start blocking. I've been chips. thinking of it too. I've been thinking of it too. Cause oh. they're they're not as good as Norton. No, they're Norton, not as good as Norton. They, 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 it, and you can hear him trying to be. And I might yeah. I go. I'm debating on it. I told I might get rid of chips. Start each blocking chip. every chip. So please do a chip, fucking attack. <laughs> I, so I got start, nothing to do. So you just I'm, start blocking. I'm, I'm blocking uh, bobos. Are you blocking Bobo? Really? I'm blocking Bobo's. Bobo blocks? Bobo blocks. <laughs> yeah, when people include us because in the they're Bobo They're including tweets. us. You have fun with Bobo. Please. Uh, enjoy. But don't put my name in those because yeah. I'm blocking now. I, I blocked 20 people yesterday because <laughs> I can't deal with the Bobo shit. It's, my it, whole timeline is Bobo shit. But they'll learn. But the fuck them. So now I'm not looking at my timeline. So it's like I want to look at my timeline. So the only way to around this is to block bobos. You gotta block bobos. And mm -hmm. here's this I'm key too. I'm blocking bobos. I'm not blocking chips yet. When you block, mm -hmm. you must wait. Don't <laughs> don't block. Then go right back to your thing. Uh -huh. You block. Let the system. Ta it takes it away from your timeline immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you put block and spam. I love it. If you report a spam. Block and report a spam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. I love going back to it and then seeing, like, hey, it's gone. He's gone. But yeah, here's, a, here's the magnificent thing about this show. Everybody who who oh. likes a particular person hates someone else. So there's the, 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 the Bob Kelly people hate me. Yeah. The me people hate fucking this guy. Yeah, yeah. It's just a weird thing. There's Voss people, and then they... You can sometimes the dumbest thing in the world is to send you a tweet to say they hate me to you. Yeah, yeah. And then, because I'm gonna block and it. And then put my name. Yeah. Why yeah, yeah. do and then that? They tag stupid. It with the names. But get, get this motherfucker on, because I want to know what that's about. Keith in San Francisco. Apparently, I blocked him. And uh, I want to hear okay. from someone I blocked. Keith, go ahead. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? All right. Hi. Bro. What happened? Oh no, uh, it was when. Uh, it was when, um, I'm sorry, uh, I just woke up. Uh, fuck, Opie oh, had the birth of his son. And uh, I just wrote, hey, congratulations. Uh, can't wait for you to be back in the studio, for you to be posting stuff. And then Anthony, Anthony wrote something about the, uh, along the lines, hey, I do more in like four hours than you do in your entire life, so go fuck your mother. Yeah, that sounds exactly like something I would do. I bet it was this. I bet it was... Hey, Opie, congrats on the uh, birth of your son. Hurry back to the studio. Jim and Anthony fucking suck a cunt. No. A and no. then, uh, yes, fuck you. you. Fuck you. Because that's exactly something I would block. No, it's, it's nothing not. as innocent as you congratulating Opie, and I'm going to block you for that. Yes. Fuck you. It had to be because Jim and Anthony are fucking the show up. Jim and Anthony suck. I know, because Opie gets the same shit. I've never Opie gets have, the though. same fucking I never shit. Have. What, <laughs> hey, what was it? What I've was, never had, to be honest what, with you. What was your tweet? What was your tweet again? What did you say it was? Yeah, what did you say it was? Yeah, what? what? All, all I said was, I said, congratulations on the birth of your son. I can't wait for you back in the studio so you could post stuff. That's all I. That's all I. You know what though? You're probably not going to get unblocked. I'm sure, but oh, never. No, that's fine. that's the kind of thing that mm. you misinterpret, and and as soon as you go, hmm. I don't get what that is, and, they, and you don't have to be nice, because right. I get a lot of race, racist shit. Oh, sure. But it'd be funny, because I go, okay, you you in the spirit of me. <laughs> right. But, but but you can tell when I, it's like, I'm not sure what the fuck this is. Yeah. It, it's, it's, because he sounds snarky. He sounds like, yeah, yeah. he sounds like who, me guy? 
And it's like, eh, you, you, but, to be not sure, you, you got to But some days, some days your tolerance is a lot higher, too. That's true. You know what I mean? You, that's true. I feel bad for some of those people that I, I, I probably should have blocked. Like, I'm, 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 giving, I'm giving pardons. <laughs> You've given pardons. I've, I've, take, I said, mm. I've taken a few people off death row. <laughs> uh, just a few, though. I mean, no, but once you're dead, I, you're dead. But yeah. but during the time of me going, am I getting rid of this motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. It, it, they, there's when been parties in it? the consideration of, because yeah. it's immediate your, your fire is ready to hit block, and you go, you know, uh, I guess he's, he didn't really mean that. I maybe I, I I've I've given people a chance where like, okay, that that was flat out fucking mean. And I'm gonna yeah. let him slide, and then sure enough, of course the guy comes back. I remembered block. a couple and of people. Like, yeah, 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 of course I got a block. Now, you. now I, I've of given people pardons, not unblocked, but giving them a pardon when I'm ready to block and go. All right, maybe he. I'll give him a the, shot. That's the best and then you, and then they come I'm, back. I'm thinking maybe he's having a bad day. I'm like, all right, I'll give him a shot. They but come sure back and enough, they up. show their real fucking colors. That's not. But you're not allowed to have a bad day. Like, that's, you can't go, oh, I fucked up. I had a bad day and I tweeted Patrice, fuck you, fat asshole. You, that's no, no bad day. No. That is no. fucking right. wrong Here we number. Go. That's blocked. Here we go. We got Dan in Chicago. I blocked him. Oh. So you heard from <laughs> Anthony Block. I, I love this. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah. I, uh, I just follow you guys. I've never even tweeted you. And I got a uh, tweet from Opie one day that I'm blocked. <laughs> oh, for no reason, right? You, you're probably, yeah. I'll be honest with you, you're probably, hold on, I'll tell you, ah. you're probably uh, part of a family. No, I've got I block entire know. families. If you're, because I'm thinking, if you are hanging with that asshole, then fuck you too. Right. If that's and if especially guilt, if you're following, guilt by especially, association. especially if they add that guy to your to the tweet, yeah. guilt by association, my friend. You might have been. I blocked a what, few of those. What's your name on Twitter? Um, Dan Agan. Dan. Oh, I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> no, I have no idea. Dan who it is. what? Fuck <laughs> But 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 Wait, Dan what? Agen, A G G E N. A G G E N. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're, we're, but you have to you know investigate, what? Oak, though. I'm going to investigate. You might you might be off death row today. Sir. Investigate his tweets. Can you go to his uh, fucking page? Let's see his fucking tweets. Oh, <laughs> go, to, go to his page. Uh, he loves the onion. Oh, shit. That's fucking. That's all right, there you go. Uh, After listening to what? After listening to Rain, you guys got me going on a Beatles marathon on my iPhone. All right, that's kind of nice. Every Sunday, Sunday, it was, was great. great. All right, keep Thanks, going. Thanks, Dan. Uh, mm. right. I've got nothing. He tweeted you. Huh. He might have deleted the tweet in question, though. Yeah, did you? Oh. Yeah, but look at his, his, <laughs> line, his, his, line of, his line of tweets are not offensive. All right, let's make a decision. He doesn't have a bad no. tweet record. No. Let's make a decision here. How, oh, let's this see. is like what the Supreme got? Court. This is cool. Yeah, <laughs> man, let's see. Is there a stay here? Was my father-in-law's Johnny Red Kirk. He, he oh. enjoys Twitter. How he's, many followers you got? He's not a tweet abuser. I've got like one. Oh, my, oh God. my God. He has Who one follow follower. Well, and he's he... only tweeted 17, though. He's a useless. He's no good on Twitter. Right. Right. Uh, I just enjoy following you. Guys. You're really bad at this. Wait, who's fo All right, but who are you following? Go back to that. Oh, go to following. Because if I see certain uh, oh, boy. Let's Twitter see. accounts under someone's follow, right. they're, me. they're done, too. He follows everybody on the show. All right, he follows. He's following you. Huh? He's following so, you. So you're not blocked. Wait, if he's following me, then he's not blocked? Is that how that goes? Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? No, he can follow you. You you, you don't you yeah, yeah. he you only block from corresponding. No. You can't follow. No. Him Chelsea Handler blocked me because I made she showed a picture of a dog and I go, wow, your makeup artist <laughs> deserves. And it. she you, blocked you. Uh, yeah. And you you're not you're not able to even follow her. It was just a stupid you know funny line. Yeah, you can't. Oh, even so and now she doesn't come up on my timeline. She got pissed off. She showed a picture of a dog. I'm like, Jesus, your you know your makeup artist should get a huge raise. Dude, you still follow. You're not blocked. You're not blocked. You're not dude. blocked. What are you talking about? I came up with a thing saying, OP Radio, you are blocked. I don't think so. Uh, can you tweet right now? I'm, I'm driving. So? Everyone does it. Uh, it's the new hip thing. <laughs> Try tweeting me later, because I don't think you're blocked. I, I, okay. I, and if you are, I'm going to unblock you, believe it or not. Wow. And I might oh. even follow you. That's courteous. <laughs> yeah, now he's going to get more followers. I might him. even follow you, Dan. That's he might get a lot of fake. Yeah, he's going to get followers. This might work out in his favor. <laughs> He'll kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> he might, he won't know what to do. I wouldn't be surprised, though, when you're blocking people that you might hit the wrong guy, too. You know what I mean? With your phones and shit, and yeah. you're like, all right, I'm blocking this guy. Maybe, maybe. I got one called Esch maybe Echophon or Echophon. It, it, it isolates 
you can't block unless you go to them. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't. It's no, like... It's yeah. no thing where it's block. It's a bunch of people, and you have block if you want to. Right. It, you got to go to. Wait a minute, Dan. Do you see my uh, tweets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're not blocked. Then you're not blocked. Because I'm you're telling you, stupid. Chelsea Handler blocked me. <laughs> I, block I don't him. see her. I don't see her shit anymore. I block him yeah. just for and being an idiot. And you can't. You can't even. Huh? What happens? I've never, mad, I, I've never tweeted somebody that blocked that me. That blocked you, yeah. What? what, what and I'm happens? not mad that she blocked me. I get the game. Yeah. I'm in that game. I get it. But how do you? I, I'm surprised what you blocked happens? me over that because I, 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 yeah, you know, I wasn't. What happens when you block somebody? Like, what happens when I try to if read I somebody block, that, that gets if, blocked? If I block you, you can't read my tweets on your timeline. Oh, but I'm oh. saying, can I? Can you I? You could search. It, you could still search it out, but it's more of a pain in the ass. But when I when I type at Opie Radio, what what do do I get a message or it just doesn't go through or? No, you don't even know you're blocked. <laughs> oh, so uh, you send it? You kind of forget. Like, I forgot, I didn't even realize Chelsea Handler blocked me, and I, one day I realized, wait, I haven't seen a Chelsea Handler uh, tweet. And then I'm like, oh, that's why mm. <laughs> she blocked me. Oh, shit. Blocked. <laughs> I, uh, but like I said, I understand the game. I love I'm blocking. Not, I'm not crying I, I, about I, I, it. I love blocking people, and, and again, a guilt by association, I'll block you. I will also block people, and they do this and don't <laughs> understand why I block them. Like, if they're beaten up on Jimmy or Opie or something, and they tag my name on it, and say something nasty about Jimmy or Opie? Like, what am I supposed to fucking... You included my name, so I'm supposed to rah-rah behind the guy? I, no, I've done that, too. That's my fucking... That's my, my fucking radio family. Gone. Did, Gone. There's a guy... Yeah, we might hate was, each other, but you can't so hate us. so fucking <laughs> mean. I blocked Opie. It was like... <laughs> it's a, it was a guy like... Hack Jim Norton or... It, just a terrible... And you're supposed to fucking he like... He was te a terrible person, man. And I, and it was I was just looking, and they on purpose want you to see it, so and they I, include your name. I said this guy is a fucking asshole, an asshole, and stupid because you don't realize like, like we're not gonna chuckle, we're gonna fucking block you. And I don't understand the people that um they're they so. they they call us pussies for blocking them. It's like this this yeah. is my little real estate. Freedom of speech. This is my little real estate on Twitter. I don't yeah. want you around. Yeah. Sorry. Bye. It was. It was something like that. It what was, happened? What an really? asshole. Yeah, uh, got blocked by him. Anthony, but he can't figure out why. Oh, let, let's see. <laughs> let's, maybe we can hash this out and figure it Damn, out. I, 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 I'm telling you, I don't think I blocked you. Okay, let me try You're not blocked. Out. Huh? All you're right. just silly. You don't know how to work the Twitter. Yeah, all right. All right. It right. looks like you're not blocked. If you're, if you're reading my tweets on your timeline, that, yeah. you're not blocked, I don't think. And I need, right, I sir, need to talk you. to Blake, and uh, so we need to hash this out. Blake! I, from Wisconsin. What happened? You're blocked? Anthony, I, I have no idea why, and it is it has become one of life's mysteries. All right. Uh, uh, did, blocked by Anthony. Did, what was the last thing that you may, might have uh, discussed before what, I blocked you? What's your Twitter account? I went back, I went back and read my tweet and, and read it with the eye of, boy, if I've never met this guy, what asshole thing what's did he tweet? say? What's his tweet? Yeah, what's your, what's your Twitter name? What's your Twitter name, and what was the tweet that got you blocked? I don't know. It was, uh, my Twitter name is the, T-H-E-F-I-R-E-B-U-I-L-D-S. That's the fire builds. Uh, I, I just tweeted, uh, the tree, so I tweeted with C and, uh, right. you know, I, I, I tweeted with a lot oh, of This guy tweets a lot. Uh, you got yeah, like 10,000 fucking tweets. Wow. Yeah, I'm an asshole. You got 291 followers and 10,000 tweets. You well, are a tweeting motherfucker. Quotes, and I got to update the Ronnie B quotes. That keeps me busy. Oh, you got a lot. Oh, wow, you got a lot of Ronnie You're one B, of the Ronnie uh, B quotes guys. Ronnie B quotes. Uh, That's all right, guys. That's all a great right. uh, Twitter account. And, by and the when way. did Ronnie I block B you? Quotes. About. You know, I think you were on vacation with your girlfriend. I didn't realize I was even blocked until I saw someone retweeting shit that you said. I went, oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, I wonder. I, I don't know. I, I'm very sorry if I offended you. It was never my intention. I'm a huge fan of the show. The only person I'm ever an asshole to is that guy on New York Radio that. Uh, that married that broad and he sucks. Uh huh. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh -huh. I'm trying. To, we're, we're trying to look up and see what happened. Anthony Coyne. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I honestly think it was a mistake because I'm a really. Uh, I like guns. I like racism. Do people actually like racism? Can I, also, can I say something, though? Yes. Uh, we chuckle. 
can I say something in 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 fairness to the people? Uh huh. Twitter gets confusing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Where there's a lot of ads there, and you go, "Who the fuck? Who? Right, sent right. This that's shit. That's true. Sometimes you're like, "Did that person send it's a it? Retweet Is it a retweet to another person? So you just retweet? say, "I'm gonna block this entire mess because yeah. I don't know mm. what's going on." Because mm. my my girl said, "Well, you blocked this guy." For no reason. I go, well, he said this. He goes, no, he didn't say it. This guy said it. So she unblocked this guy and blocked the guy. That's because it's con it gets confusing. It gets confusing. It when, does. You, when you hook up with, with other the retweets and the this and that. So, I mean, oh, and, and, is that a blockable tweet? And you know what? Someone wrote me on Twitter. Um, people are getting confused, too, because they can't DM you. You can only DM the people that follow you. No, you only can DM the people that you have to follow each other. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean, right? Yeah. So, so maybe that's what's confusing people. They try to send a DM and it, and you know it says you oh, can't right. send a DM to someone that's not following you. Right. But that doesn't mean you're blocked. I blocked. I blocked somebody though. That that uh, was. But DMing. you were following them. I, I guess like there was some. Oh, when I was looking for some kind of graphic uh, help, I, I I followed the guy and he was DMing me as far as that goes. And uh, but he, then it uh, turned into like he overstepped his fucking yeah oh, boundary. Boy, he overstepped his boundaries and and and, and like I said, I get it on my phone. You don't remember his name though. So I remember his name. Oh, you don't want to say it. No, no why? Right. No. I'm, what? I they, they love when their names are mentioned. Fuck well, I just want to look it up for us. Nah, he just kept like plug it. I think I, I, I yeah I, I I did block him. Let me say. Yeah. Hey, look. Whatever. Sorry. You overstepped. Here's one. And, and believe me. And by the way, this motherfucker that I blocked was texting, DMing me, and it would come up on my phone at 5 a.m. Yeah. Well, turn off your phone. I've been telling you that no, for years. No, I don't turn off my phone. Someone dies in the middle of the night, they'll, be, they'll still be dead <laughs> in the morning. Who cares? He, you don't get the DMs <laughs> no more, right? No, I, I still have it hooked up that way, but it's only people that I follow. How can you keep your phone so, on at night? How do one you ring, not? One ring and I'm awake for the night. How do you not? Nothing changes in the middle of the night. You can't save anyone's <laughs> life. You're too far away from whatever the fuck is happening. You get a good night's sleep because if someone, God forbid, close to you is dead, you're going to need a lot of energy anyway. You so you need, need a good your night's phone. sleep. <laughs> you need your fucking I'm phone. I'm telling you. Phone must be turned on. More contract time. negotiations. I turn that shit off. Bob's so this, trying this to call guy, me in the middle of the night. Fuck no, that. phone has to. This guy. Yeah, what are you gonna do with this guy? Ant? I'm leaving him blocked. I, oh, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't, got no time. I air to no the side of leave him blocked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, te I'm Texas, motherfucker. <laughs> Dan in Arkansas loves how Patrice talks about people who were, who were blocked in past tense, like they're dead. Yeah, might in well that be. world, you kind of are. Yeah, you're dead. You're in Twitter world, yeah, you're dead to me. Might as well be. Blake yeah. in Wisconsin. Well, they got their own little group, and they have fun with each yeah. other. That's fine. Yeah. Whatever, man. You got 219 you followers. Do? This guy, uh, yeah, Travis in Kentucky. Travis. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, I kind of gave up on Twitter, so I kind of blatantly did shit to get blocked. I could not, for the life of me, get blocked by Opie, Jim, or Patrice. Anthony was the first damn tweet. Bob Kelly and, um, what was it, uh... Bob instantly blocked. You were trying to get blocked. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, I think for the most part we we know that though. We see that. Yeah, sometimes it could say. You know, I we know the difference between someone that is a fan of the show or a fan of you personally and and a true hater that be, just fucking yeah. hates your guts. I I I instantly know who hates my guts. What did you? What Don't did worry you write? about it. I know. What did you write that I blocked you for? I actually asked you to help out. It was actually something serious. The retweeted thing about a kid that died to try to get his name on the side of a NASCAR. Boom. Blocked. I wouldn't block for that. I, believe me, wow, I usually retweet. Wow, you're rough, dude. I know. You're I, rough, dude. I retweet people that, that ask for help. A, a dead kid on the side of a car? I you're never would have blocked for that. No fucking way. I like this exercise. No, I didn't. And I also fucking block how dare you not get back to me, guy. Oh yeah, entitled. You should get back to him. I'm talking to you. I, you know, what are you fucking leaving a message? This is a phone? this is a pure dictatorship. This yeah. fucking this Twitter. Twitter I, is. I do feel bad though. I try to get back to a lot of people. I do because you know they're writing shit and a lot of the stuff's really funny. They take just, advantage. Nah, I could but give I, a shit. I try, but I mean, you know, I always say that I do read just about every fucking tweet that comes in. And it's a the fucking day. privilege. Yeah, yeah it, it is a really, privilege. I, I don't want uh, somehow. Celebrities aren't better than regular people no more. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, you, you know, there's look, there's some people. Look, fucking Eddie Murphy's better than me. 
<laughs> and then I'm better than fucking yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> fucking slouch. Phil, Phil, <laughs> at Phil the Plumber six two two. Motherfucker, if I if I fucking retweet you or fucking answer your question, motherfucker, that's a big goddamn deal. If, if I retweet people, it means I've been drinking. That's pretty much it. <laughs> people can judge how much I've had to drink by how many tweets I, uh, I, I put out there and how many people I respond to. Because it always turns into gun questions with me. Why is it, why are people so offended? This new, this new thing where people are offended that celebrities are fucking. Yeah, aren't they, fucking they, getting back to them. Yeah, like. Uh, this is fucking famous fucking, people. Fucking guy thinks he's better than fucking this. You're not. Why should you? What would you access? do without Twitter? See, yeah. Twitter it just it's synonymous with we all are one. No, we're not. It really is a communist fucking. Uh, Let's go to Mike in Ohio. You're right. Mentality, Mikey. Morning, boys. Morning, Mike. Hello. Hey, I got a problem with. Uh, well, not a problem, but E Rock blocked me, and I'm not nothing but defend him. I love E Rock's new attitude on Twitter, man. <laughs> He's a motherfucker. Erock's an animal. By the way, Erock just DM'd me and it came up on my phone. Oh, really? And he just wrote, "Hey, you watching the news?" Uh -huh. <laughs> you fucking prick, Erock. So wh why did Erock block you? I, I don't know. I looked for the boat. I love that. I don't know. You guys know. Everyone <laughs> doesn't know. know. This is like everyone in prison that goes, "No, I didn't do it." Well, here's I'm the, the innocent guy. Oh, they're all innocent. Here's the thing. I looked up his account. He has three followers and 15 tweets. Nothing is addressed to me. So he, at one point, he had to have said something. Uh -huh. I blocked him, and then he deleted it. And deleted. I, was going, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Mm, the ability to but, delete. Is, is there something you think it might have been, Mike? No. The only thing I've See, ever then we can't work together. Yeah. It had to be something that got E-Rock to do you gotta have what some, he did. you got to have some evidence to uh, submit to the court. To see if like, he should be like unblocked. Maybe it was the time I tweeted. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't just come in with no story because you will never get unblocked that way. We need, if we're going to have a pardon session, right. we need you to, to tell us what you did. What's and his then fucking we'll name? What's his name? Yeah, what's your name? It's uh, racism underscore is underscore fun. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are our listeners? Racism is fun. <laughs> what a fucking hump. We got a black guy in here today. You really know <laughs> where? <laughs> Sorry. You really know how to how to instantly get fans. Ah, oh, you're gonna. That's so gonna he's, he's tied in with Coke logic. Coke That's logic. That can't be too ass. bad. Yeah, because you do look at the other people. I follow everybody on the show. Yeah, what a guy. That's wait, nice wait, wait. Anthony Cooper did it. Did it last. Did it last. The black man is dead at last. Well, he did, must not follow me. That, I think, was probably... That was because the execution What the there. execution. What was it? Yeah. Oh, Georgia? Uh, Troy? Yeah, yeah. Troy yeah, Troy, Troy Davis. Davis uh, right. Execution. Uh... I mean, I did say that Iraq ate Big A's wife a long time ago. What? 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 I did say that Iraq ate... Big A's wife a long time ago. I'll see that might have done. That might have been. Hey, wait a minute. Go, go down. Go to the beginning there. Where? Uh, go up. We said find my name right there. Hold on, Anthony Comia. I still re. Let's. You you well, Anthony. Come on. Uh, no retweet from my Troy Davis MLK speech. You're begging me for a retweet. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Dude, I. Oh no. This is good. This is a first. I'm going to block you because of your phone call. Oh, boy. I never would have seen this. Oh, boy. What's your name? That is... The, I'm <laughs> fucking E-Rock. E-Rock, do you remember this guy at all? No, nope. But I won't just randomly block somebody for no reason. You're begging for a retweet on a, a, a hack MLK joke? Yes, I was. But at least it was over uh. material instead of the famous, can you retweet, it's my birthday. Uh, Where you at with the birthday retweet? I don't retweet birthdays. I retweet people that get I don't block them, but I don't retweet I wouldn't block them. Yeah, no, uh, I, I don't retweet, retweet too much. I can't be retweeting birthday wishes. Yeah. Don't like, ask me fucking personal things over Twitter. Like, like you guess what? Here's the thing. Guess what people have in this business? This is what I'm just trying to teach people who are not in the business. Yeah. They have people. <laughs> yes. Contact, find out who my people are. And, and, talk to and them. find them. Right. That's what they do. Find, <laughs> find out where Anthony's people are. Right. And don't ask Anthony. Do you think Clark Gable dealt with this shit? Motherfucker, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Here's what the Clark, if I hated Clark Gable. <laughs> right. This is what I had to do. Right. I had to find out 
where I could write. First of all, I had to go buy a pen from the right from the dipping in the ink from, <laughs> from the feather store. <laughs> the feather store. And I had to buy really expensive paper because stationary. Because yes. they didn't you want to be taken seriously. They didn't have fucking. Right. Wasn't a piece of loose leaf. You stationary. Could just pop this out wasn't three a... M yet. This was right. They were chopping trees down and shit. You think stationary where it looks like the wood was sliced nice. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That <laughs> fucking. Yeah. You see the wood particles in it. A still. feather pen. I had to go buy a feather pen. Yeah. I had to go. That's Lewis. I had to go. I had to go buy a quill. I had to go buy quill. A quill and some I had ink. to go buy a a stamp. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I had to go buy a letter. Right. Okay. And it probably was one post office uh -huh. within 16 miles of my bicycle with the big wheel in the front. You're that missing. I had to <laughs> you're missing one of the most important parts. How the fuck do you know even where to write? You had to find out where you might write <laughs> you, and, and where, where you're getting you getting that info. Get to where are you getting that info? The internet? No. And where and and, and your assistant, who's reading this shit, yeah. just before shredders. So they're just as soon as they see. First of all, Mr. Gable, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't even get to douchebag or whatever the fucking no. term was back then. It, went, it got it put in with fan mail, where a big fucking thing would come in for Clark Gable at MGM. Ah, it's at MGM. It would be delivered to, like, a, a big mail room. You, you, you would you have to write many, to the office. You know how many kids with cancer Not, didn't get looked after? <laughs> oh, back then? shit, you're right. The, the they never got a letter back from fucking... <laughs> ah, I'm sorry you have cancer. I have the disease that makes... That I'm eight years old, but I yeah. look 90. That, those kids were left in the dust. Could I get a re-letter? <laughs> could you, could you re-letter me? Dude, you had yeah, that's to... Terrible. To say Lucille Ball... Nipsey Russell, yeah. fucking, <laughs> fucking uh, <laughs> Butterfly McQueen, yeah. uh, 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 Hedy Lamar, uh, uh, who's the motherfucking, uh, yeah. rah, 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 rah. Rah. those guys and those, you had to work hard to even hate yes. people. Yes. And you know what? They probably never saw hate mail because they had people that ran through that shit before they ever looked at it. God, yeah, that must be nice. And the they never fucking had their home fan address. mail. Yeah, one nice. got fucking answered. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one. Yep. Yes, one. <laughs> so, so look, man. Say what you want to say on Twitter, but if if you act, the celebrity is a real, it's a real thing. It's a fucking actual job. Yes. And I'm trying to be one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Obi and Anthony are celebrities. Yeah, we should be treated such. There's a celebrity that's waiting outside, sticking up his middle finger. Exactly. <laughs> but I've worked hard to be able to say, to go, hey, Lewis Black, mm -hmm. you didn't, you, you don't have the right Twitter person to go, what's up, Louis? I like this conversation with Lewis because Lewis is pretty new to Twitter. He hated Twitter last time. He hated saying. it, but now he's on it, and I'm noticing... He's tweeting. Yeah, we got a break. We'll take a break and, uh, and come Lewis back. About I, I got to hear about Lewis's experience with Twitter because Lewis is very volatile, as mm -hmm. we all know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to know if he's blocking people or, mm -hmm. or what he's doing. I bet you I, I got money he's not. I guarantee Lewis is not, not up to blocking people. He's not up to it yet? He's volatile, but Lewis, well, Lewis is a right? nice guy. Why don't we go for the cheap plug? So Opie Radio, OPIE, mm -hmm. Anthony Cumia, right. and Big Mama Prod. Can I say yes. I'm at Helium this weekend? Of course. Uh, I'm at yeah. Helium uh, Comedy Club in Philadelphia in tonight, uh, tomorrow, and, and Saturday. You know, two there shows Friday. The whole the, the, the normal thing. Helium, yeah. uh, helium, helium at uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, get on Twitter so you can have fun with us. It is, <laughs> in, in the end, it so is we can block you, <laughs> and then we'll block a few more of you. And whatever. <laughs> Lewis Black, friend Lewis Black, Lewis, also Patrice O'Neill. Really fast, Patrice is going to be at Helium Comedy Club this weekend. Yes, starting uh, tonight. tonight. Yeah. Oh, you got to leave here and go down to Philly, huh? Yeah, but it's no rush to hour and some change. Mm. All good. Tickets got to be good. I don't know. They love you down there. I don't. I don't know if I pulled a Whitney Cummins. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's synonymous with fame. Yeah. You, that's what you say. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you coming, Jet? That is amazing. Are you Whitney? It's an amazing climb to fame. Do you know from, Whitney Lewis? From I, nothing. I don't know. I just uh, I've seen her on television. Oh yeah. Who hasn't? Yeah, really. Two shows. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it just makes you uh, really yeah. happy about the whole thing. And it, it's, it's
it's it's it's it's unbelievable. It's it's amazing. I mean, you can't it, look. People can act like if they in this business, but I'm gonna tell you what's un unprecedented. She is the creator and showrunner on two shows on two major networks. That's fact right there. Not one and then another one yeah. on fucking Bravo. Yeah, yeah. Two big timers. How does that happen? It's, the boss. How does that happen? It's unbelievable. It's uh, it's 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 uh, time. It's the women's time. Is it the women's this time? This is the women's Lois, decade. We, oh, we've lost. I don't know. You know how it happened. She's. Uh, you know, somebody, I forget which comic said to me, I was doing the bitch in the moaning. She's hot. Well, That's, you know, not, you know, I will I, you give got you that. it, I know, but she, to them, right. to and outside she, and, of and, us. And, and this is not a rumor. I, I think I watched, uh, I was watching Conan because, uh, uh, what's his name was on there? The uh, big kid, uh, Hill, Jonah. Uh, uh, yeah, Jonah yeah, he yeah, was yeah, talking yeah. about that movie. Yeah. I was curious about that, that flick, and she's on it. She was on plugging. And she is uh, dating somebody, some big timer at Fox. Oh, so she's hitting the trifecta, man! Holy shit! Her big, you she know, got wow. a big. She got a, She said, "My boyfriend is your boss." <laughs> so she's dating a big time over there. So all she got to do is get ABC somehow. Yeah, <laughs> Some, something on ABC. That's fucking amazing, man. She'll be on the View. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> the entertainment correspondent. It's just, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I had look. Here's the weird thing: is is that you know, in, in, in we have a very small world of, of comics, and and I don't know her, and then all of a sudden, she's on uh, Last Comic Standing, you know, next to Kindler and uh, and Greg. And Matt, I'm and wait, going, wait, wait, wait. Here's how convoluted. The, the shit is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not her. What? That's another one that fucking bothers people. No. What? That he you talking about Natasha Genario. No, that was not Whitney Cummings. That, that is was not that. Whitney Cummings. So where did Whitney Cummings come from at all? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's a it's a it's a Natasha Legero is oh, a is, wow. Whitney, is in in Cummings world. She's the one that wears the long white gloves when she does her comedy. Oh, she's she's from hot. the last comic stand. I can't believe she took that from me. Yeah, you used to wear the long. I, white you'll gloves. wear the long white gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do rectal exams. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you serious? Yeah, this is this God, I am or it's like I'm, I watch TV like a stroke victim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of you care. I but thought, I, I see, thought it was her. I wow. see Lewis, I see yeah. Lewis on TV a lot. But yeah. Lewis, yeah. Lewis, Lewis is a, is what keeps you you Lewis is a hero in the, in in the game. Yeah. He's he's a he did it. Like his way, it, it, it was more like a like again going to the good that the good fellas the uh, the the, the, um, the uh, Donny Brasco thing is that Lewis <laughs> Lewis knows Lewis you was might have to go and visit the guy. I just watched the Gotti you. story. Yeah, yeah. Neil Delacroach. Mm -hmm. Lewis is Neil Delacroach that got up, <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> what's, the one, what's the one that got up in, in, like that Paul place. Paul Castellano. Castellano. Yeah. Ne Louis Louis Black is Neil Delacroach as opposed to Paul Castellano. <laughs> it's like no one ever, and I'll be honest. I'll just say all oh, we had. No one has ever be begrudged Louis Black success. Not yeah, one true. comic who goes what the fuck. Neither Louis and comics. Louis C.K. too. Comics yeah, no cool. one begrudges Louis yeah, C.K. That's true. Shit. No one. Like he, no comic says because he put in his time. He and put his time. Put your yeah. time in. Yeah, yeah. You got to put the time. He in. He put his yeah. funny in. Hey, I remember Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Lewis was Lewis was around back then. <laughs> uh, that was it. No, it's true though. You really do. I mean, you, you do have a respect for the people. All of the people. You know, you go on the road and you run into all these people and you see them. And the ones who, you know, the ones that I appreciate are the ones that do the the work. And then we all worked in clubs together. And you know, and then it was, mm -hmm. and you and you kind of go. You know, it's fun having somebody like uh, you know Patrice before you were after you. Because yeah. you know it's like kill, kill, kill. When you've got that kind of group in there, it's weird when people come out of nowhere. Like you just said, where did where did she come from? Then, yeah, when you they kind know. of like are two shows. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Mm -hmm. where and, did and, that and, come and, from? and here's what fucks me up. People will say, oh, it's from the roast. 
Really? Yeah. What? Well, I, w- I fucking had all. I blocked everyone's number from my phone except for fame. <laughs> 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 so when my phone rang, it would only be fame. Only I was like, fame would be calling. You knew it would be fame. I was playing a game. And I made sure. Wait, well, I told my girl call me because make sure this phone was working. Yeah, I yeah. Fame. You never let fame go to voicemail. <laughs> you always pick it's up first fame. ring. No, don't try to be cool. <laughs> don't try to be three ring cool. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you, man? Good to, good to talk to you. That phone's dusty, huh? <laughs> if, if I lose my signal, give me a number I could call you back at. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Lewis been, man? I, I, we were catching up outside. Where the hell have you been? You're on TV a lot, I see. Uh, uh, but not really. Really? Well, sure you are. You, you pop up a lot. They I, like I you for the political you pop up stuff. A lot. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I'm really. I mean, I kind of haven't been around because I was. I spent the summer in Fruityville, which means I was uh, working in theater again. Ah, oh, wow. That's, that's my uh, theater. Yeah, theater. I, I actually. Uh, this is. It's so. I. I thought coming on here to talk about this is going to be so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> uh, I wrote. I used to. You know. You guys know. I used to write plays, yes. which yeah. was. Uh, you know, about as, as fruity as it gets. And um, <laughs> that's I wanted to be a playwright. So I wrote this play 30 years ago. And I figured, and this play was, it, it was done, and then it was uh, done again, and then it was picked up, and uh, they optioned it for Broadway, which, uh, and I thought, okay, they're going to do, this is it. You know, I can get, you know, I'll get, through, you know, if they do it on Broadway, then at least I can make a live, you know, basically legitimizes you can get away with shit for 20 years. You know. <laughs> yeah, Somebody somewhere that. will pay you something for the, your next piece of shit. So, <laughs> so I, I, but it, way, it was, it was done for seven years. Nobody would, it would, never got done. Never made it to Broadway. And after, and, it, and then it, I just went, okay, well, and I, and I always felt there was something wrong with it. There was something that just didn't work. You got to basically, it was a, it was a farce. So you can't, if the audience can't think, and I gave oh, the boy. audience time, you know, it's got to be boom, boom, boom in the audience. Because yeah. once they go, well, he couldn't do that because his mother in law's in Jersey. <laughs> you know, the audience gets, you can feel them <laughs> yeah, go away. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't want to hear this shit. You're giving him too much credit. Yeah, yeah, well, no, but they, it doesn't take <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah. So we, uh, uh, so we, um, uh, so we fun, ended up. <laughs> I spent eight. Uh, I did four workshop productions of this thing. I did f- all over, all over the place, and um, worked with this friend of mine. And we, we uh, basically fixed the whole play up, and they did it up at Williamstown this summer, and it was a huge hit. Jesus, I mean, it was like crazy Good for you, and and it's, uh, but it's the weirdest thing because it was written thirty years 30 ago. Thirty years I wanted ago. To be, you know, it's that moment where, you know, uh, unlike stand-up where you can, you know, you get param- you know, parameters, yeah. you know, playwriting is you want the play to be done on Broadway. It's like you have to suck the, you, you, you've you got to have your tongue up the audience's <laughs> ass, okay? <laughs> you know, come on in. It's everything's going to be okay, you know, unless you're like David Mamet, and then you can you can go blow me. <laughs> so the so this thing is a romantic well, comedy. When you say that, you mean, you, just to clear, you mean like you got to... Well, I don't you want to need the dumb audience. It, dumb it down. Sort Not of really thing? dumb it down. I, but it, that right. I mean, that's a lack of. But, no, but it's basically you know you kind of got to make it. You got to make nice. You, you know, can't beat them up. I right? mean, this is years ago too. This is thirty years ago. It was way mm-hmm. a, a lot nicer. Now, it, now it's like if somebody in the uh, on the in in the play isn't kind of nuts or has some sort of a you know you know Asperger syndrome, it's like <laughs> well I'm, I'm not going to go see that or. Uh, it, but it's so I've written. But I've, it's thirty a, years ago, Pete, it seemed like the movies were it seemed like it was a lot more uh artist driven like you know the, even the movies like I, I wouldn't imagine a deer hunter would get made right now oh, no. mm-hmm. but but like 30 years ago it seemed like it seemed like people would be more it's a uh, it was a lot more adult like uh respect it was a lot more stuff where you go this is made for an a adult real story right doesn't but this necessarily is, need this a car was, chase this, is, this was theater and what was interesting, I mean, this is the whole thing about timing. It's those 30 years ago I write this thing, and uh, um, and it's it's a romantic comedy. I mean, it's if my name wasn't on this play, you would have no clue I wrote this play. Yeah, really? None, oh none. And um, and so I, uh, you know, they they kind of rejected it, like and and now it it it. it uh, it would probably be, you know, there are theaters around the country, not, you know, these repertory theaters that are around the country, these places you can play. Uh, they, they are, have shown no interest in, to, in it because it's a family play. And there's nobody, you know, what, what, and they've literally, guys have said, well, why would I want to do a family comedy? 
You mm. know, we're going to have, uh, I'm doing, you know, uh, Herculean and 12 people die on stage this week. And that's really what we're into. I mean, it's bizarre. But at this point, though, in your in your career, it's not like, does it, is it ever a part time where you go, they go, it's Lewis. We, we're going to trust, we're going to trust Lewis. Like, they don't give you the the mm. fact that you're Lewis Black and they go, maybe we don't understand and we will give it a shot just because you're the expert. Do they ever fucking come no, off it's, of their it's shit? It's just like, it's like all of it. It's theater, radio, mm -hmm. television. The only place we get away with, you know, saying what we want to say is on it's comedy. Is comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, theater, it's you've got some schmuck, some fruit comes down to, well, you know, really? Oh, boy. <laughs> this would be a lot funnier if, you know, <laughs> you know, it's that same <laughs> bullshit. It's the, you know, and plus, it's like theater is like an abusive, it's like being in an abusive family that just kind of tortures you and then, I mean, the one thing is, is you know, you do television, and you know, for for the, you know, for a, ch a certain chunk of change, they fuck you hard. But <laughs> theater for like twenty cents, you know, it's like you know, bend over, right, and uh, and and bring me a coffee. It's really. Did brutal. you have to? Did you have to like compromise uh, anything with with this play after thirty years in order to? No. Oh, I, okay, so no. so you were able to. So they did give you some latitude as far as well what because you I was working with the the the, uh, the artistic director of this theater and I've known each other for years and it was like oh, okay. I had to do it then you know yeah. but I've known a lot of other of these pricks who run theaters and they're like you know and they don't so who's the who's the who runs the game in the theater game who's the bosses but there's a, a, a whole group of you know the Needlelanders the Schuberts here in New York uh, no but like who's uh, like saying TV if I knew uh, you know. Uh, uh, what's his name there? Uh, the the big mm. producer that does the action movies, but he does TV too. Yeah, Bru Bruckheimer. Bruckheimer. If you yeah. if Bruckheimer likes you, you're fucking in. Yeah, you got you, yourself. Spielberg <laughs> likes you. You're right. So who yeah. who if who what? And th and that guy's a pr the producer. He's a, a production company guy or whatever. So mm -hmm. who's who's the people to know in theater? There's, like uh, there are about six or seven of these folks who who basically produce on Broadway. And that's and then it's all kind of like it's all these individuals. It's like uh, it's like literally if every stand up club um, just booked, you know, uh, totally on their own, that there was no way to kind of go, you know, that you had to go to each one. That's what it's like in theater. Hmm. So these names are the names. There's no like executive no, producer guy no, or you know, producer say, you guy. Know, no, there's nobody. There's nobody in charge. And, and uh, oh. <laughs> there's nobody in charge. It sounds it's like a pain in the ass. Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so where are we at with this thing then? So now they're going to do it in uh, in Seattle next May, which is great. And that's all I give a shit about. It's like you know. Are like, you in it? No, thank you. Fuck no. Fuck that. No, <laughs> thank I, there's fuck not no, a. Fuck. There's nothing. I did do. you write a part for yourself thirty years ago? No. You never did. But the weirdest part is, is that the guy uh, who, uh, there was a whole bunch of uh, folks I came out of school with, and we were all living together, and one was Mark Lynn Baker, the guy from Perfect Strangers. So, Mark, I'm writing this play then, and he's, there's, there's two young guys in the play, which would have been, Mark could have done one of them, or, or might have been, but it was the right age. Well, he wasn't right for either part, so he never did the play. Now, 30 years later... He's playing the father in this play. Jesus, place. wow. You know, that, which makes it, I said, like a mortality festival. <laughs> and for perfect, yeah, perfect right. strangers for, for people like under fucking... Yeah, people yeah. thirty nine is like uh, yeah. that, that was a, hey, a Bronson Prince Prince Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Balky. Exactly. The, the other Balky. dude, no <laughs> shit. the Balky That was show. the other guy. <laughs> the yeah. other, here's the little, other guy. Yeah. Little cash having a play in Seattle. A little, little. You know what they pay? You know what you get for a play option for Broadway? You know, like a, an option. Uh, like thirty years ago, I got. Like twenty five hundred dollars, twenty five hundred <laughs> for a year, a year option, which means they've got the rights to it, and now it's seventy five hundred. Holy shit! Thirty years I've worked on this play, <laughs> so it break, breaks down to like about it breaks down to about two hundred and fifty bucks a year. You're not even, and you're not even used to people saying numbers, and you just go, "Boy, I wish you didn't even say that." Just, yeah, I know, I'm down. Just so people can still dream. I know it is. No, it's theater. <laughs> you what? took people's dreams away. I know. Uh, well, I said, there's, I'm a saying. there's a motherfucker that threw his big pen against the wall <laughs> yeah. or he fucking his, his, his <coughs> Apple computer once he found uh, out really that's it yeah his, his place not even keeping up with the cost of living no it's not even keeping oh up with anything no, throwing said, away his you know, blazer with the fucking patches on the elbows <laughs> you know what, fuck this shit I'm well, not writing this and I, <laughs> an eye opener was Colin Quinn he finally gets his thing on Broadway he's yeah. there for a long fucking time and you're thinking he's gotta have a fucking mansion now yeah nothing nothing oh yeah no it's Broadway 
It's unbelievable. Don't well, you? I don't get that. Oh, because it, you, oh, know, you do it for the love. You do, do oh, you? Oh, Jesus. Don't you do it for the love? <laughs> well, you watch. Well, don't you watch Glee? Can't you see the love? Oh, the love. <laughs> you just do it for the love yeah. of the yeah, art. Yeah, I love Lewis too. He fucking fights with being a curmudgeon, like because he's like appreciative, but he's he always got, hey man, I got appreciative, but he just wants to go. Oh, he did. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck the love of the art. It's right under the surface. Too old for that shit. shit. Right. Too old to dream about doing something for the love of the art. Right. Pay well, me, bitch. One one thing about this game though, you it never. This is. This, when I talk to people about why I'm so miserable, yeah. like, <laughs> I, I don't want to be, but of it's course. like... None of us want to be. I, I, yeah. it, your opportunities never match up with your readiness and your humility. Like, yeah. so it's God, like, yeah, you're, yes. you're like oh, boy, exci perfect. excited to be there uh -huh. and you're ready and you're excited. And you, here comes opportunity. Opportunity is right when you're over ready and you try to be excited, <laughs> but you're like, oh, I, uh, I, really, you, you're going to offer me an hour on uh, national TV? I don't, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. good, thanks, man. Yeah. Y'all too excited? Ten years ago, I was ready and excited. Now I'm just, <laughs> like, I'm just now ready. ready to do the job. Yeah. I'll do. I'm, I'm a, ready to do the job. I'm a professional. I was. I, I used to. I used <laughs> hey, to you dream. just won the Super Bowl. Where are you going? I, I guess Disney World. I, yeah, I yeah guess, whatever. I guess supposed to. I was supposed yeah, to. Say with, this, with this line of work, is this there a hospital work? bed I can lay down on? <laughs> I used to fucking dream about what it would be like to do radio. Like, and it was, it, it would be like, wow, that's, that'd be fucked up. But it doesn't just all of a sudden you're not thrown into a chair in the number one market in the country doing radio <laughs> to the point where you can go, this is fantastic. Holy shit. You're beaten. Up to up the ladder. Yeah. They beat you up the ladder. So by the time you get to the top yeah. rung of whatever career you're in, you've been beaten so much that you're just like, yeah, oh, this is it. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. I just Great. Uh, the the uh, along those I just came back. I've, I've been uh, you know it, I I rarely go to Los Angeles anymore because it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> we're gonna go out. We're gonna go what? We're gonna have a meeting. Okay. What are we gonna meet about? So we go out there. And every year, <laughs> oh, oh, man, really? Yeah. Really? Meeting, yeah. Yeah. Meeting. You know, and initially, you, you know, remember, years ago, a meeting in L.A. would have been yeah, like, yo, I was like, I'm meeting. I'm buying my, my own plane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken. I'm <laughs> buying the ticket. <laughs> I don't, I don't even, even have pay a credit for the plane card. Anymore. <laughs> oh, boy, here's going to happen. And I get in there and they, you know, so for 15 years, I would think every 15, if for two shows a year. We pitch. I pitch two f fucking shows a year. <laughs> yeah. 30 shows. Of them, one has gotten seen the light of day. And it's like the last six years, it's like that. Oh, we, you know, now that you, we really have got you now. You are, we're going to bring you in here. This is, this is so easy. This is a no brainer. Well, so we work, work, work. You're going to do it? Nah. <laughs> nah, we're not going to do it. So after the last seven years of getting it, I was, I finally go, uh, I don't, you know, they talk to the agent, I go, I, you, you, you know, this is going to, you want to come out, you know, you want to, you have something to, I, no, I don't have anything, I don't care, why am I going to come out there? I don't, I don't get rejection anywhere else in my life. If I want rejection, my mother is still alive. I can call her. And agents have no sense of your human, oh, the yeah, pain yeah. of a human, which is like, they, they, they think the question you ask is like, you want to come out to this meeting? Do do they know me? They think that's a do. Do they even know? Yeah, do they even know me? who I am? Do they like me? Are they really trying to do so? Do, do they, they fucking care? <coughs> they, I went to a telepictures meeting, and I walked uh, out of we three, did three yeah, we did telepictures. Even we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, I walked out of three <laughs> meetings in my life. Telepictures was one of them. <laughs> where <laughs> I go, you and... don't even know who the fuck I. I'm I because I said eh. I go. Anderson Cooper, eh. And then that ended it. Because they go, you don't think Anderson Cooper's riveting? I uh, think he's a fucking riveting man. bore. Yeah. To, to me. Riveting. Like, but no offense to the guy. It's like, that's my, I go, I go, I'd rather watch Bill O'Reilly. Oh, she, oh, you like, um. Oh, and boy. that's why I got, you know, I got nigga, uh, uh, paranoia. <laughs> I go, <laughs> she goes, oh. That's funny, I do too. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> she goes, she goes, oh. <laughs> so you like polarizing people. Oh, I said, shit. I said, I know what you, that means in white world. That shit means I like people that cause trouble. Like, no. 
the guy is more interesting than this yeah. fucking other guy. Yeah, that's like, all you're saying. I'm not stupid. Yeah. You just now you call me stupid because you think you're using words and niggas don't understand. <laughs> but that's the that's where you polarizing. You polarizing. Oh, is that a is that a like a polar bear? <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't even it ain't even a white and black thing. No. It just you you just start going crazy. It drives you insane. Yeah. Because you're going, dude. I, I don't like I, like I told you the roast. I came out and it was, you know, the, the pre intro thing. Anthony uh, Jeselnik. Woo! Patrice O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> Clap. <laughs> what? Oh, I said, do you know who I fucking am? Yeah. I'm a somebody somewhere. <laughs> Are you telling me that I'm going to have to prove myself on this shitty <laughs> roast? <laughs> and, and something's on the line? Yeah, yeah. I got some on the line? You can I'm only... I'm going to take a five-year backwards jump if I suck on this roast? You can only lose. <laughs> You're not gonna you take can a step only forward. lose yeah. in that situation. Lose, yeah. Yeah. And I get, I get a million tweets that say, good job, but... I can I bitch this bitch supposedly this bitch is famous from the rose and I like to yeah. just can I show run some on VH1 free motherfucker yeah, this, yeah. I want to just do my own shit yeah didn't Whitney Whitney Cummings do like three roses or something She's and all of a sudden fucking, became like the fucking shit and her and Lisa yeah. Lisa got big time. She yeah. got big time off yep. the rose. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to go on there with those intentions, but you go on those things, well, all of and that, you yep. and you go, I want to just do a good job. Yeah. And you go, Whoo, I did a good job. And then you go, All right, I'm gonna prepare for fame to call. Yeah, yeah, it's the phone. Because that's call. what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna handle right, this right. with with, with uh, some type of dignity, dignity and decorum. People, <laughs> people are confused <laughs> out there though because they think you being on the roast is fame. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I told no, you I know, but yeah, yeah. You're With confusing NBC, some people out there. Yeah. Here's, the, here's right. the game. People are saying, holy shit, you got picked for the Charlie Sheen roast. That's fake. You're, this is the thing. That's why you this is where Twitter further. fucks up everything. That's because <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> he said no. And, and David Town said no. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> it, it, it's because th there's the people and then there's the business. Within the, biz within the comedy business, I'm known. Yeah. Yeah. Because people would congratulate me that know me already as if I was new. Like, so I was like, well, thanks, motherfucker, that's seen me kill 17,000 times. Yeah. But this, <laughs> yeah. the roast validates you. But to the people, it's like, whoa, he's on the roast. But the machine already knows you. Yeah. But it's then, are they going to back you to tell people? This is what fucks you up. You want the people to think more for themselves. You want them to go, there's a few. Yeah. That go, Patrice is famous. Fuck if he is or not. Then there's people that go, <laughs> he's not famous because no one's telling me he's fucking famous. <laughs> yeah. That's it's as simple yeah, as that. Yourself. So there's a lot of frustration going on because you wanted to be in control of the people. If it was the masses, a mm. lot of us would be okay. But it's not the masses on in control. All right, let me go with that. So uh, question of both of you guys. Where where is the fame line for you guys? Like, uh, so many people would look at you and Louis Black. You're fucking famous. Louis Black's more famous. All right, but all right, then let's go with you, Patrice. Get, having your own show, uh, 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 a solid role in a movie. Where Where is the, the, the fame line for you? Where you go, fame fuck, is, I'm, fame I'm famous. Fame is when I know that nobody in a suit can yeah. control my destiny. So, yeah. I, I, I mean, yep. from the outside yeah. looking in, yep. you, I think Louis, L Louis Black is that, where... He can go anywhere and sell out 5,000 seater. He's in control because mm -hmm. the people are keeping him up. And so as long as he stays relevant and he, and he is, is good to his fans, yeah. he controls his destiny. I need something to make me pop. So I can control my destiny you need, at, at clubs. You need this shitty mm. show. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Patrice like, huh? why, why do you think he's up? It's right, early. Right. And my, like, my right eye is fucking, I'm blind in my right eye right now. I, my eye ain't woke up yet. And I'm sitting there like, I got to plug these shows. For and helium. I, helium this weekend. For helium. And I mean, this decent numbers, but it's like. What the fuck does it? What ha You know, you don't even know when yeah, fans are going to fucking go. I don't know. You don't want to, you don't want to have to work so hard. To get the people in the seats. To, that's the main thing. You don't want to have to work 
too hard. You, you go, just come on out. But it's just people have to be told what to do. And right? a, Patrice O'Neal, a Patrice O'Neill ticket is a no-brainer. But for some reason, it's not at that point. Because there are people that book gigs, and they don't have to do anything, and right. it's sold out within yeah. Yeah, like, well, I mean, minutes. Like, it's you know, not. You know, well, a lot of it has to do with, like, you know, the difference is, is that, like, like, like Chelsea Handler says, I'm going on tour with Hootie and Schmati. Boom, well, done. It's you know the tickets. And go. Hootie oh, and Schmotty. Yes, uh, uh, I would. I did a, sh uh, a club in somewhere in Florida. Hootie I remain. Schmottie. I remain nameless. The club. Yeah. But Hootie and Schmotty. He goes. He goes. The biggest game in town. Because I. I told him it was an ice storm last year, when I was going to Houston, and mm. the guy that ran Houston Improv go. I go, man. I don't want to fly in an ice storm, sir. Uh, can you push this back? And my special comes out next week. Yeah. And hopefully, maybe I can sell more tickets than I might sell this week. Right, exactly. He goes, eh. And I go, well, what's that mean? Well, he goes, eh. The only thing that's big now on the road is Chelsea Handler. Oh. If you're a Chelsea Handler comic, you sell out. That's that's the oh, game. Man. And they say, hey, if you're on Chelsea Handler, Jack, it's a pop. So it doesn't matter who you are. You just got your dumb name. And, and you, go, you, you hook up with her. And then you instantly get she's that powerful. Fucking yeah. sell well, sorry, that so sorry that you hooked up with us. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, here's a, here's a, but here's the thing: I promise. Yeah, really. I made promises <laughs> this, this to myself. Wagon. <laughs> I made promises to myself. I said I will never do anything again to help my career. That I'm gonna have uh, regrets uh, for. No, that I'm Over? gonna have. Um, I have to owe. I'm no. Okay. That I'm we'll try that it. I'm going to <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to fuck up their thing where hmm. i resent doing it but i'm doing it because it's it helps my career yeah. but my resentment shines through right so oh, yeah, i boy, think i would oh. resent doing yeah. chelsea handler so much i couldn't you wouldn't be able to hold I it i wouldn't be able to sit there with with whoever and, her people are and 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 be at one with them and, and so i said why, why go in and embarrass everything. myself but that's the whole thing that's of the, the world breaking the fame barrier you have to fucking eat that shit but i enjoy doing this show <laughs> but so he's eating enough yeah, yeah. shit i mean he's already eaten, yeah but we've eaten pounds of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what makes it it's like i come here but it's like but it's the synergy of you just get to see people you like that's true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i know there's a way when this business you could be around people you like it, I, I did it once with tough crowd yeah mm -hmm. i was around people i truly liked right. that that was great and, yeah. and it was fun yeah. i had so tell. much fun doing yeah. that it's gotta drive you nuts that the comics on chelsea handler you guys blow out of the fucking water and they're selling Please. so many more tickets. But they, but, and it's not, and you, I don't know how you guys you deal with that. Them. It's just, it's the and business. I don't need to name names. You could watch yeah, yourself and you can I hate the yourself, people, too, because they should know. They should it's just like, know. You it's fucking don't know that that is fucking good. When I see some certain comics, and especially comics that are popular in the South and the Midwest, and, and just filling up arenas with drivel, it's it's so frustrating, and you see a smart, funny, fucking relevant comic that that like is legitimately making you laugh, and you're like, why is this guy working so hard? Can I can I give you one more uh, another thing I didn't I have started to notice too, mm -hmm. and this is all to keep me from committing, you know, <laughs> committing <laughs> either murder, murder or, or, or suicide. Right. 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 One more pill that I should take. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just popping a Viagra and just die, like, exploding hard while I'm fucking. It's, you need, you do need an <laughs> audience. Yeah. And when I say you need a specific audience, because there's no famous comics who are, uh, ups who have this arbitrary um, audience. Like, I would say Lewis has a, a, a smarter, older, politically fucking savvy, savvy yeah, audience yeah. with a mixture of people who are there because he's famous. So it's like that's that's the people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Larry the Cable Guy got all rednecks. Yep. Kevin Hart got all niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and when I say niggas, it's like Kevin Hart got all the people. Cat Williams left when he bounced. Mm -hmm. Chris Rock got the other. Black people, that like the black people go. I ain't fucking with them niggas. I ain't going to a Kevin Hart show. I'm gonna get robbed. I'm going to a Chris Rock show because that's some other motherfuckers. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Dane, funny. Dane had, he, he, but he's getting older. Mm, yeah. But Dane had all the, the college, college kids. Yep, yep. He got now. That's who Daniel Tosh got. Yep. It's oh, all. Yeah, the, it's yeah. there's groups. There's no just arbitrary. Everyone like, goes. Oh, I'm just a fan of this guy. 
because that's where you get me. Where it's just like, oh, I got a few black people, I got some niggas, got some black people, got some crackers, got some white people, got some idiots, got some intellects. Regan had a lot of a diverse crowd. Regan did. I had Regan a, I had a like weird, a pretty the weirdest crowd. thing about my crowd is from 12 years old to 80. Yeah, yeah. You, I yeah, got a family. I have families come. Which is I'm odd. the weirdest yeah, yeah. family comic it's in the history of, of this country. That's because of those commercials. <laughs> no, it started Chase, way before the commercials. Chasing commercial. that, yeah, that yeah. crab, man. I mean, oh, that's that gonna crab was a life changer. <laughs> <laughs> I put, a, I put Ooh, Aruba. I, I put I put Aruba back on the map. <laughs> he certainly did. Yeah, I said, hey, yeah. it was like I felt like when that they came up with that next murder, I went, oh good. I went, oh here's an island you can <laughs> yeah. go to. Here's a good place to kill somebody. I, I truly and a crab. Aruba. I truly love those commercials. <laughs> oh, well. God. Played, sir. Well played. <laughs> yeah. We got to talk to Lewis about politics before we get out of here a little bit. Come oh, on. Shit, look at the time already. Where, where are you at with everything, Lewis? We haven't seen no, what you're looking about. The uh, Republican uh, candidates. What, what are you thinking? I'm thinking uh, this is like I've, I've never imagined reaching this point. In time <laughs> really? Where, you know, look, I'm. I, you know, but really, Rick Perry, really, really, really. You don't, you don't like it. I think he looks presidential. <laughs> he, he looks, <laughs> yeah, he's white. Asshole, asshole, you are. He looks presidential. He looks presidential. He's got the salt and pepper hair. You won't but, even spend money if it had Obama's face on it, motherfucker. If Obama has money uh, with his face on it, I won't have any fucking money. That's, that's it. Believe. Nothing my credit cards for Nothing Anthony. to spend. <laughs> there won't be any to spend. And we might as well put his fucking face on it for what it's worth. Oh, boy. Well, print Lewis. up some more. Well, who the... Print okay. up some more. Wait, wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes, well, let's calm down. Uh, right. Because, you know... Let's if all you... remember I called out Yemen first. You were... Back in the 90s. Seriously, you were and absolutely you laughed. right. And you it's laughed. come to be. You laughed about that one. Uh, and it's come to be. You had a big Yemen. laugh over that, but, but anyway... Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you know, look. It's for a group of people... Not to tax rich people at this point. To say that, if you don't tax yeah. rich people, and to call it class warfare, go fuck yourselves, oh. okay? Go fuck yourselves. Oh, class can't... warfare? What kind of planet do you live on to think the tax... It's not, first off, it's not war. The, the concept since 2001 is don't use words you shouldn't be using. Uh -huh. It's not warfare. You don't shoot somebody. It's not like you're going, you got a gun to their heads. It's called sacrifice. Mm. These pricks stand there and they go... Well, you know, it's great. These troops, the wonderful work that they're doing for us for twenty-five thousand dollars. They come back. They give. Me, they give them. Okay, we're going to put a plate in your head and go fuck yourself. <laughs> but meanwhile, douchebag is giving. You know, he's got his fucking yacht and his hoo ha. And his, but they're job creators. My dick, they're job creators. Their company is a job. That's the job. Companies create jobs. People, people. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm not a job creator. I got a company. Company that hires people. Fucking get a grip on it. I looked at my taxes yesterday. Mm -hmm. I signed my personal income taxes. Fine. Whatever they want, take it. Fucking, we gotta build. We got fucking Christie's not gonna build another bridge in here because you can't afford it. You can't, you can't. Fuck you. You build it now. What are we what are we doing? Yeah, but why should we be taxed on that when what they do can't you mean? Run? You, what, we it's it's the fucking it's three percent they're asking. You, That's one percent more than two percent. Percent milk. How How about, do you have any conspiracy theory stuff in you? No. <laughs> no, we are just fucking stupid. stupid. <laughs> I knew it. Every conspiracy is just stupidity. It is. But yes. that, that's smart. But Lewis, I think I'm already paying too much compared to the fifty percent of the people that aren't paying anything. Wait like, a second. Why? But because you get together. because you fell into shit. But but that's you isn't fell that the American into dream? Shit. That's the American dream, not the communist Soviet dream. Oh, who dares? They're not even existing anymore. So exactly. don't even go there. Exactly. So why should Taxation we go in that direction? Taxation is not communism, you fucking idiot. It's but, a service. But, but, it's what the planet idiot. are we living on? But, but taxation, <laughs> it's service. Taxation as a redistribution Jesus. of wealth Sit back is tree. no. Well, well, it's been our no. communism. We've been doing that for fucking ever, and I'm tired of it. Well, God, it's Especially not hurting since, you. 
too. It is too. Well, then get a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I see it as I'm already doing above and beyond uh, my part. Okay, all right. And why should I okay. keep doing wait, wait, more? Wait, can I just say this? Yes. I don't. Again, I'm really I'm tired. I'm <laughs> sneaking. <laughs> I was just going to sneak that this was a great in. Rant. Yeah. <laughs> These taxes aren't going to anything except for the pay. What the government owes the bank, right? That's, I mean, oh, I, I, but I, I know just, that whole why, where, fuck. But why is this argument? It's almost, it's a, it's almost like a baseless argument to go. You, you know, all this money and who's getting. To, it's all go. It's all they all trying to figure out mm -hmm. is how to pay back this money that that they owe through through our blood. Yeah. So I'm saying, where's the argument? What argument is there? Everybody's getting robbed. Right. In some way or another. Yeah. So I don't understand where the passion is about who's in office and this and that. When I, I firmly believe at this point that the president is a tradition. Right. Like, it's like the like a, queen. Like a turkey. Like or a queen. queen. Like a it's turkey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to have a I Thanksgiving. That, I want to have a Thanksgiving. Turkey sucks. Which we don't need it any other time of Italian year. Italian food right. and no turkey. Right. Right. Imagine but that. people want a turkey yeah. because the president's not a boss. He can't change anything. No. He can't live where he wants to live. He can't, he's, <laughs> he can't move. Yet. He can't do anything that says he's leader. He's just somebody that makes us feel better. While the system continues to fuck us real bad, fuck us so I don't understand ass. how you look past the actual fact of what it is, which is our fucking bank is not. It's a private. In bank other words, why that we borrow right. from? In, I don't understand. In other words, why are me and Lewis arguing with each other? Well, when, that's what they when, is doing. When the enemy, yeah, yeah. the yeah. enemy, or the the real <laughs> problem <laughs> the destruction is, is, true. is that. Yeah, yeah. They Lewis, made us crazy. I apologize, no, Lewis. And I, 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 and I've always loved you. Lewis, <laughs> I've always loved you, Lewis. Can I ask you something? It's true. Well, it's good because you're one of the people who like it. You yell at like it's not a lot of people. You fucking idiot! I love it. By the way, you can't do that no more. You don't even do that with your real friends. Do you trust the government? And as far as far as how they spend our money. That's my problem. Um, it's like, all right, we, well, we end up giving okay. more money toward the government That's for taxes. Right. Here's what I and then my problem is I don't trust that they're going to fucking spend it properly. Well, here's 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 my basic problem with what's where we are now is you can't have a war for ten years <laughs> that you don't pay for. Right? Okay, you just can't have. Pay. I don't care what it costs. You can't turn to the American people and go, hey. Uh, this is a freebie. No country on the planet Earth has ever gone to war without. And I'm not. I don't care who you tax or how. You, but you, all he had to say, way way back when, is is it's time for us to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I'd have been in. If we're going to go do this, mm -hmm. we got to do it. But we haven't done it. We, we, I mean, and there's where it begins, and then it just goes into other levels of madness. Now, but, but how do that we? Been, and, the, and but what we do in the end is try. Uh, what makes me psychotic yeah. is, is that we don't make anything. That you like, you, we make money. The whole concept is to make. Why can't Walmart? Fucking make their two percent, and if Walmart doesn't make three percent, it's a, it's a, it's a tragedy. <laughs> you know, they made their stick in two percent. They didn't reach the other level, and so you end up pushing and pushing and pushing the button to try to make more. When why don't you just bring it down a little? I'll pay a buck more for for a goddamn coffee cup or whatever the fuck it is, so that <laughs> so that it's made by an American. How tough is that? And then you're then you're out of your tax structure. If it's if think it's, outside yeah. the box. So if it's a buck more. I would say that. So we need the help it, of these big companies, obviously. Yeah, yes. we do. We yeah. If you if you made if it if you went back to just American made shit, a little bit more dough, but we would just be okay. But, but people are so fucking selfish about paying more. I'm so for I'm so anti the idea of the art, like the war. Every single war we've been in. 20 years later, we go, oh, yeah, we went to that war, but uh, it was based on a lie. That was fucked up. Now, <laughs> there's another 10 years that's going to go by before we go, oh, yeah, 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 Afghanistan, yeah. Mm. And based on yeah. well, we'll be there. Yeah, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll still, we'll be, still there. be there. Right? But never that's what I'm saying. Uh, at this war, point, yeah. we're in a we're in a baseless war. Like, but it's admitted to be that. Like, but they go, oh, we're still there doing what we're doing. And and uh, my thing is, I go Obama when he first got in office, he closed Guantanamo Bay somehow. 
Like that was that's what he I thought he signed or some shit. I, I was like, oh, okay, they're still there, and they're still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to be I'm playing there, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are you really? I'm going to go, go to Gitmo because oh, I like to say Gitmo. Gitmo. Oh, yeah. Gitmo. I'm going to oh, well, Gitmo. That's, that's considered American. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can go there, Lewis. Okay. Where are you at with Obama? Did you vote for him or? No, well, I mean, you know, you know I, I, said, I said in my act that what he offered me was hope, and I'm too fucking old for hope. I haven't got time for hope. I don't. I've been through my hope, and you know what? I got fucking. You know, it, you know, ass raped over Hold my up hope. Up the ass. You know, I, I mean, saw, come on. I saw something. I, I said about him, and it's absolutely come to pass that what I was going to get from him, which I thought was at least a step in the right direction, and this was all I was going to hope for, was someone who spoke in paragraphs. Mm -hmm. And that would be exciting <laughs> for me. <laughs> and I got exact, and you know, and, I, and, and pretty much that's what's come to be. He doesn't look like a leader anymore, does he? Well, he's kind of just, he didn't, step, you know, he didn't put his foot down when he should have put it down. And I think that going after health care, as much as I agree right. with it, it was a mistake. And this country I, I, underestimated racism. Really? I don't think underestimated. so. He got voted in by a lot of fucking white ah, people. Did he really? Yeah. It, it, he got, it's, it's, a lot of it white was people. very, they underestimated the fact that mm -hmm. white people thought they might have been ready for a black boss. And I'm going to tell you where he lost it for me. Is when he invited that fucking cop from Cambridge to have a fucking beer. Wow, that's early in his uh, tenure. When, when he wow. said, <laughs> when he like, said, wow. it's just like you don't wow. fucking George Bush would have told somebody to suck his dick, and yeah, yeah. and that's what he should have said. I'm not gonna fucking tell. I'm gonna change my shit for this fucking. He lost it for me with I Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's what he that's his his purpose to me yeah. was to make sure. That we're we're just arguing about horseshit. That black people will not accept that he's that they don't he's not doing anything because white people hate him, and that's that's what he's in place for. And I think the intensity of why people don't like him mm -hmm. is why it, it's getting dangerous. Because I think the plan was to keep him in for two terms. Oh yeah. Why yeah. all this other horseshit that he got nothing to do with is going on? So just to keep people focused on. Either hating each other or extra loving him, or he was a guy that was the ultimate fucking distraction. Yeah, and I and I think it's 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 not with, with it, it, the internet and Twitter mm -hmm. and this and that. I think pe the information that people have in the in their hand makes it very difficult, and that's why that WikiLeaks guy oh, yeah. is getting a lot of trouble because I think the information that people are getting is is more dangerous now because it's they don't need the news to that tell sounds them very uh again uh, I'm, i won't say conspiracy sounding but it, I mean, it's it does, based it on is. stupidity like like is it, it, it people are too stupid to think that much into it i like what lewis said uh i think if obama would have taken the two years when he had the majority and had his his own fucking everything he should have laid off on the health care thing and gotten a few other smaller things done so he had a base to build on yeah, yep. instead of spending the two fucking years where he had carte blanche with Congress going after the health care uh, uh, plan. He could have done a lot of smaller things. But do things you think that this is his across, plan, though, Anthony? Yeah, I do. It's a, I do. It's a gut. That was. But I don't think, like you that, said, I agree with you, but I'm going to add this. Mm -hmm. I agree that people are stupid. Yeah. But I don't agree. I don't agree. I think we all can. I don't agree. Some in this very room. <laughs> I don't think the people that are dealing with him in these rooms and mm. dealing with what they're doing in these generals, and I don't think they're stupid. I think they know people are stupid, and they're doing things. I mean, the government runs every industry in this motherfucking country. But here, no, That's I, almost fascism. I, I mean, they run the cars, they run real estate, they run uh, uh, health care. That's what that this, this whole thing yeah. is. So they control all free industry. And w that's, that's a big I, fucking deal. And, and the people might be dumb, but, but well, they're dumb. The government doesn't control anything. Well, it, government is, uh, the government sets down some kind of hoo-ha. Meanwhile, uh, you know, you've got... Uh, well, if I give you $20 million and you owe it to me... Huh. D don't yeah, I but own that, you? No, because they don't. Because you, you know what they're doing in Detroit? They're sitting around going, you know, who gives a shit? And they're sending the money, and the money's going back. That I mean, I think the you know the the, the healthcare industry. If the, I mean seriously, if the government was running the healthcare industry, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that the healthcare industry gives the government a lot of fucking money, and the government sits around and goes, okay, I'll suck that that healthcare <laughs> cock. We you know we're yeah, up, yeah. It, it, we're paying twice what we paid for. Uh, 
for health insurance in 2001. It went up 9% the Jesus. other day. It's like madness. I, I'm, I get those. I have three unions I'm involved with. You know, I got three fucking unions I'm involved with. Mm. Right? I'm, and they, do, does any of the, do they pay a bill? No, they no, don't pay a bill. They don't not. give a shit. No. And, and, and what I, this is when it kind of blew my mind. This is because I, I, I was, uh, I, I've been watching uh, the copays of my thing. And it used to be when I first got the company, I was like, son of a bitch, you know, really? For Lipitor? My heart, <laughs> my heart be pure. You know, it's like six bucks. Now it's like, I mean, it's all gone up. Yeah. It went from like I was paying, let's say, 65, 70 bucks a month two years ago for, which is, I, I think, reasonable for like, you know, the, the amount of shit I'm imbibing in order to keep <laughs> this fucking thing, this fucking structure of mine going. And then now it's up to 180. And I'm thinking... You know, and I'm thinking back to when I was broke, which was for a long time, and I'm going 180. Who I the go, fuck can afford this? Can afford no, that? no. That's, and that's just me. Yeah, I was and I don't have the kids. That shit. Oh, fuck it. How is that fair? They're or making illogical. up numbers. What, who the, where yeah, the fuck the do they numbers. think people get this money? Right. Like they might as well have no health insurance. Mm -hmm. The Lincoln and, and Holland the fucking tunnel. Dice. From, from four to eight, from eight to 12. Four dollars times five if you're going to work. That's $20. Every day. That's $80 a month. That where the fuck yeah is an extra eighty dollars a month? Cause now you go you you paying your thing, but now you still gotta eat lunch and you still gotta and they're broke. They're still fucking broke. Yeah. They do they complain? Ah, oh, well, we can need money for this. It's like you watch the traffic go through one fucking tunnel in an hour how do you fuck and up try to business? figure out how much money just came through yeah. and they still are like well we went over the budget we're down a few million not dollars only, not only that but when they really started it when they first came up with that easy pass yeah so they're getting money in advance you know so oh, hello right. yeah, yeah, you, what, yeah. you, you haven't figured out how to invest that you you <laughs> yeah. fucking morons they're idiot and this again is a, a big number in advance government so agencies right, Lewis, like that. you think that that shit is Hello, they don't know what they do. It's it's fucking. It's crime. Give me your money, cause we owe people. We owe it, or we're or we're stealing it's already it. Fucking... It's not something they're going. Boy, we made a bad investment. These motherfuckers are stealing. I think <laughs> there's nothing are, you can do about it. I think they nothing. are fucking using that money and spending it on projects that are favors for other people in other districts. This is supposed to be. Look, I pay money for a fucking to go through the tunnel. There's a pothole in the tunnel. Part of my money fills the fucking pothole. Thank you. That's how it should work. It that. shouldn't yeah. go to this guy in Brooklyn who's building a fucking uh, uh, office park because he blew the guy in uh, the TSA. So now he gets a favor from the. No, well, the I don't want to pay for it. The major one was uh, when you go over to uh, Iraq and Afghanistan and you see. And and Cheney, I say Cheney was the uh, lawn. Was, <laughs> <laughs> was he, uh, really? Uh, and, and actually, Lon Cheney's heart is probably better, and he's dead. The uh, Cheney's uh, Cheney, Cheney Cheney's with Halliburton, right? So that's his company, right? And see, so uh, I'm going to go. We're going to put a private. It's going to be in private trust, and I'll be the vice president. I won't touch it, and there will be no, um, you know, there will be no favoritism. So you go there. And it is all Al Britain. I mean, it was crazy. It's the amount of people that we, the amount of money pumping in, and they're paying, you know, and this is where it also, it's where the American companies, and, and I'm, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, shouldn't be allowed to pull their shit in part, is is that uh, they had the, all of the SUVs that you, we, they, they, they had bases in, in like in various cities, and uh, those those were Hertz, rent cars. Uh -huh. Now, you've applied Either A, buy the fucking car, or have <laughs> the a motor thing. pool like they did, you know, like they used to the have. The old days, yeah, or, yeah. You know, or why they're serving, the, the people serving food are hired by Halliburton, so they're, they're making a profit off of the fucking serving food to the troops. You fucking get, you've got a fucking mas massive unemployment, get 10 schmucks, show them how to fucking cook <laughs> a fucking egg, and get them over there. So, this is what I'm saying. You, that this is what I'm listening to now. You, you it says there's no stupidity. Yeah, it's yeah. fucked upness. It's stealing. It, it it's yeah. blatant foulness. I agree. And with they the truth. and they know what they're doing. We don't know what we're doing. When the fuck is um when what's it gonna take? 
For, not that I'm one star or anything. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. See, but what is that's it? That's it right there. You what just said it, it. What is it going to take? When you're willing to start something. It's happening. Occupy Wall Street. No, it's going down, idiots. right, Lewis? It is. They, it's going down, Lewis. Not, all, all 60 of them. They're not ready. <laughs> when you, Patrice, are ready. That's when it'll happen. Because uh, getting some, you know, the youth are out there protesting. Uh, you know what happened? The police are literally saying, can you please move? Thank you. And they're saying, yeah, we're just like those Egyptian kids. No, the Egyptian kids have their friend headless next to them, bleeding in the street. And they're making a difference. These idiots are just blocking traffic. Yeah. Uh, when Patrice is ready to go, look, what is it going to take? And I'm not willing to start anything. When you are willing oh, no, to no. go, when I, when I oh, say that, when I say I'm that, though, to, I'm basing it on uh, uh, the fact is I'm I'm just saying some shit right now, I just know. in terms of thinking about it. You don't want but anybody it, hearing you that might take things differently. My but that's feet, it. When you're my, brave enough, I didn't enough. know anything at 20. Like meaning this, when I when I might have. When, before my feet swelled up, if I walk <laughs> a fucking a mile and a half. Holy shit. <laughs> you have been, been a treat in before Selma. Before I knew what gout was. Because he will be joining us for the revolution. A quarter mile, I he's laugh dropping at, out. I laugh at gout. We when will I was overcome. <laughs> Fuck this, my feet hurt. <laughs> before it was, uh, before it was askthemedic.com. Oh, shit, my eyes hurt. Can I what get a ride mean? for half the march, it, please? It, like, I'll get out halfway yeah. and start my you march. Didn't, you didn't know. It takes a fucking real real special young person to fucking do it. it take John Connor. It takes John Connor in this yeah, motherfucker, you, man. You look all over the world when you see real revolution happening. It's old motherfuckers, too, and they're shooting fucking rockets. They can barely stand up from the fucking kick it's given. True. They're all bearded motherfuckers and, I'm, and kids throwing rockets I want to tell you something about, about your people. Yeah. The, with the with the murder of Bin Laden. Clan? Which one are we talking about? Uh, the clan. The, uh, I consider. I don't consider uh, Anthony yeah, the clan, Anthony. but yeah, I do consider yeah. him uh, willing a, to learn. Uh, an upper class yeah. cracker in the hills. Yeah. Uh, the, the the target practice guys. You know what I mean? That, I love shooting targets. I think. Paper. I think when they killed uh, Bin Laden. Yeah. Basically, what they were doing is killing uh, Al Qaeda. Yeah, yeah. Chopping but now uh, Napolitano. Uh, if that's her name, she is now. If people, mm -hmm. the big, the big people they after are your people to take their guns and shit. Now, when I was twenty, did I give a fuck about the the the, the right to bear arms? Mm. No, I didn't understand it. I don't give a fuck. And then I think about crackers in the hills <laughs> who are trying hills. to to not pay taxes, <laughs> who are trying to be free, but they always paint those people as an image of of racism and hating right, me right. that I would never join their mindset. <laughs> but as you get old and you're reading, you go, holy shit, here's the importance of the right to bear arms. So they're going after the people in this country who fucking bear arms. Not me, because everybody and, and everybody like me got a felony conviction, so I can't have a fucking legal gun any motherfucking way. So, <laughs> so they're going after... Pretty, <laughs> says that pretty casually. Uh, Lewis is, any motherfucker is trying way. to catch his breath, <laughs> but they are. And if you read and some they're of going those after you, no they're going after those guys that that these these Constitution guys. If you read some of the Jefferson era uh, politicians and statesmen, <laughs> that, if you read some of their quotes, <laughs> it's an amazing display of the second we start fucking up. Please kill us. That's pretty much what Jefferson, what Jefferson was saying. Second. Now Jefferson and and those uh, founding fathers that the politicians all love putting up on the pedestals and talking about. When you read what they literally meant, you guys it's are when so insane. When we start <laughs> fucking up your freedoms, yeah. Please, yeah, yeah, but, please get rid of us. Here's is what they said. Yeah, and then, you know what I want to do? You know what I really want to see more than I want to see what's going on now is for people <laughs> is to get those crackers out of the hill, shooting, <laughs> shooting willy nilly, and, and, and whatever vague I love government the crackers <laughs> up in the hills. <laughs> you know, That's shooting, great. shooting willy nilly at any any <laughs> anyone who might yeah. be in charge. Revenue. Like, you know, watch that whole thing. You know, I'd like to see a, just a bit of you know revolution here and and basically uh it would be uh, it, I, I can't even imagine i couldn't either people you know? aren't we've i think they've geared this nation up where it's almost impossible to have that type of revolution here it we aren't 
We but that's why they go after the guys we that would do it. Those motherfuckers would do it. Yeah, but you know what it is? It's not that there's so few and far between. Most of America, it would be like trying to run a fucking cow in a, a thoroughbred horse race. And if the American <laughs> I bet is you the Wyoming cow. Wyoming has a fucking, I bet you they have more than you think. Those motherfuckers. I don't think they're. No, they're I've been through Wyoming. With a 30 30 rifle. No, they ain't Everyone got loves shit. their guns and stuff. But they're, they're, I don't see a, a big so, they organized. Ain't not, they didn't have it. That ain't <laughs> Wyoming, they're, they're not even there fucking. They, you know, you, they, you, they, fuck no. Yeah, boy, I've driven through sections of this country and you go. You, this is. The big you, square states. You yeah, kind of yeah, go out there the and you drive and you drive and there is not shit there. Shit. Nothing. Yeah. That's why they make them square. An exit that basically one of the you know here's an exit and it goes yeah. there it, 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 and the sign basically says there's nothing here. Yeah. There's no you drive for miles without a service. Maybe it's just people. you. Maybe they're all ducking down when you pass by. And go hard till the Jew gets by. <laughs> yeah, really. Hard quick. <laughs> and then, they, then they pop back up with their guns, crackers in the hills. When they gotta warn you a million times to fill up on hill. gas because it's the last gas station it's for the, the next thousand uh, miles or whatever. Yeah, the fuck. No, there's nothing out there yeah boy is yeah, there nothing yeah. out there I, I think we could move a lot of people out there that, I, uh, that could be, I, I, I don't know I, I don't, I don't, according to your two theories <laughs> I don't, according to you, you'll be moving there next you'll be standing out back shooting a paper target and the, and the next thing you know you wake up then in, I'm the in a militia. Wyoming what happened I'm in a militia <laughs> I don't know I I see it as we're we're not built for that type of revolution that you see happening around the, Not the world. Not uh, yet. No. We're, we're, it's got to get worse. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so comfortable. What Even would be the, the worst, though? I don't know. It's got to keep when, when it's down this road for a while. When it's not comfortable. When you go home. We bitch a lot, and, but it's still even comfortable. The, even the impoverished people, they could turn that faucet and the water comes out. Flip a switch, the lights come on. Maybe their power got shut off, but their power got shut off. The power isn't shut off. When shit really starts falling apart. And enough people don't have, you know, if I go to turn my water on and that doesn't come on, two days later, I'm starting to shoot people. That's just how it's going to be. Just two days. And, Jesus. And that's it. But that's how it's going to be. Get some bottled water. Relax. <laughs> get some fucking Poland Spring. At least get a case of bottled water. Homicidal maniac. Well, how long do you think without all provisions mm -hmm. would it take? Three days. Three days and three it's, days. Oh, yeah. See, anarchy, a, a anarchy is different from a revolt, though. Anarchy is just I'm exactly. going to come in and steal your shit. Right, right. But I'm talking That's about we're different. together and we go. But it might somebody, take we, that. Fucking us. It might take that to change shit, like like a complete breakdown of of society. It, whatever brings it, you know, brings it a fucking weird earthquake, tsunami, fucking you know. But it has to be nationwide. We're very kind of sick. If I, be, I really wish you two would publish this analysis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. It needs to be written. It's a play I thought of 30 years ago. <laughs> it needs to be written. It's opening for Crackers the in the Hills. <laughs> <laughs> a play I wrote called Crackers in the Hills. <laughs> All right. But there, you know, there will be some shit hitting the. Fit. I mean, I think it's got to be. At there will some be. Point, well, I mean, shit, there'll be rioting yeah. here. I mean, I don't think what we. Oh, saw. it's just a matter. You of think time. rioting? Oh, fuck yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Uh, fuck yeah! Forty-six million poor. You got to be kidding yourself. Uh, it's a lot of fucking people who are having, who are taken in the ass, and they're more than uh, that. They're getting everything they fucking need. They see the lines in <laughs> Philly. The fucking thousands of people in line for fucking. Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, food stamps <laughs> for food they allegedly the lost in the hurricane, uh, Irene, and it's people yeah. that fucking never even got affected by the storm. Can they just and have some fucking food? No, <laughs> because they're fucking one woman. They had her on the news. And she's going, they ain't doing the right thing. It's like fuck yeah, you, man. The they're giving you free shit. So Stand you think, in line, bitch. You think the stupid news? Okay, yeah. this is, these are the stupid people. Yeah. That they, there's a there, <laughs> out of all the people, there was a woman there that goes, look. <laughs> I need this to just supplement, man. Who's I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat crayons and and gra and fucking glass. This is helping me no. to get an extra bit of something. Those people but they are only decide on to show the ones. They decide to show the one that makes fucking white people disgusted. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. God, you're I've been right waiting that for that line. I right about that. I want some motherfucking <laughs> fucking goddamn food motherfucking stands up here. I can get some shoes at the bodega with, like, but they're not showing the person that's just trying that, to supplement. That really needs it. That's supplementing I a fucking shitty economy, man. I didn't man. say everybody uh, that was there was... Uh, uh, you did, motherfucker. You no, didn't I give did. a fuck. Let me, you let made me, a white let me retract. Let me retract. 
up my jawline. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you finally attraction. talk again. <laughs> I did not mean to say everybody there was on the fucking take, uh, uh, and it wasn't justified. Okay. All right, thank but, you. But but in any system where people are given things, charity was is what I, I call it. Uh, there will be people that take advantage. This, also, it's to keep. not a person alive keep, that wouldn't take advantage of shit. That charity. <laughs> Keep I advantage. Of course. Your home. Yeah. From, from being, being fucking picked up and uh, tipped upside down. Oh, good. It's nice to be extorted from. That's great. So That's it's extortion. Not extortion. So the mob it's, is coming it's saying, the people. pay me or I'll fucking break it's your legs. It's these dummies. Oh, that's great. It's these supposedly <laughs> stupid people. Who are who are yeah, doing this that knows he's uh, lost his mind. This Mussolini <laughs> lost his mind two years ago. <laughs> Mussolini. All right, Stalin. <laughs> Lewis called me Mussolini. And he didn't and he fucking gave me the respect and not say Hitler. Uh, yeah, fucking, I know. Oh, at least no, he gave me the, no, the one that's uh, lesser uh, fucking yeah, evil. Yeah, oh yeah, much less. <laughs> he wouldn't give me the fucking dignity to call me Hitler. <laughs> I mean, you uh, ain't no Hitler, motherfucker, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Mussolini. You were Mussolini up in Mussolini. Mussolini, Mussolini would have been. Uh, that was just uh, fucking funny. We got, we got Morgan in Houston, oh, very mad at Anthony. God, kids yeah. only on Wall Street, Ant. There were 700 pilots there, too, dummy, and the cops are beating those kids. Do some research Shut and up. change the your TV are... off Fox News, you tool. Fuck you, you cocksucker. Wow. What I'm saying is the cops are being so courteous wow. to the children down there. Wow. And, and if there were pilots down there, what? Well, wait a minute. Okay, well, talking on the, about... uh, just on the other side yes, of the sir. coin there, you know, you got to imagine that they just happen to be standing across the street from the people a while ago, you were saying, who were, sh you know, the, those the Goldman Sachs. Oh, again, uh, you know, now, now who's who, generalizing who are, and saying everybody. Uh, wait a sec. Okay. I didn't say everybody. Oh. I said they're standing across the street mm -hmm. from the people that you said just a few minutes ago, or it now seems like a decade ago because I have not recovered from your last <laughs> diatribe. <laughs> His jaw's still locking up. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, these people, you know, these people who, who, who Jimmy rigged the system. Mm hmm. Um, so, I mean, it's not that... Jimmy it, rigged it? Yeah. I mean, they rigged the system. I mean, the, yeah. the, the you know, yeah. Goldman Sachs. Uh, how, uh, how, you know, who created... They, they did a certain amount. There's a certain of amount course. of criminal behavior involved in... Not all, everybody, but a ton of those guys were involved. You give sell mortgages to people and then feel the mortgages oh, I, are I, shitty I and bet against I the mortgages. Know. I know, but but when you, there are people down there with signs that say capitalism doesn't work and uh, get rid of uh, uh, Wall Street, it's like really, really. So but so the so when you're tweeting your fucking uh, 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 friends about how, what a great time you're having protesting on Wall Street, uh, how about Apple? Uh, that's a company that's uh, uh, making a fuckload of money by outsourcing their jobs to uh, uh, China and Japan. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, but you're using all of their products to show the world uh, what you're doing. Isn't that a little hypocritical? They go home at night. They, everything they're wearing and using is a publicly traded fucking business on Wall Street. Get rid of it, man. They wouldn't live a day without their fucking phone and computer. They'd be crying. Yeah, they, all right. You know, you aging fuck. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, what a terrifying thing to have kids yeah. who kind of expressing themselves the way you might do when you're under the expressing you know, age of 20, themselves. Like, they want a YouTube no, video uh, of a cop fucking uh, uh, a spraying mace. Uh, that's what they want. That's, that's the number that's, one. Uh, that's their number one they're objective. They're all young movie They want makers. a YouTube <laughs> fucking video. Oh, man. Yes, uh, young Spielberg wants his fucking <laughs> three million, three million views. <laughs> wow. wow. They, all, they all just got. Yeah. Out. Movie. That's it. You know, Andy, shut the fuck up. Just listen. listen to Lewis. Listen to Lewis for a second. I've been listening. Lewis. Holy shit. Lewis has got knowledge. He's driving yeah. me to oh, yeah. fucking Wyoming. Yeah, Lewis. But, oh, you'll, be, you'll last there for about eight minutes. Talk about being out of your element. <laughs> Give Lewis a chance here. What, what's your thought yeah. on this, Lewis? My thought on what? He, he, uh, what what Ann was saying in the whole I could, I could barely the respond street. to it. It's like he took my central nervous system and squeezed it until I had I squeezed it dry. <laughs> I have never heard 
your side. It's way beyond. I mean, I would actually, I mean, you make Bill O'Reilly look like a day at the fucking beach. <laughs> <laughs> They're all aspiring movie makers. <laughs> oh, boy, did he slap yeah, you the down. The second the one. police weren't saying please or thank you, they all had their fucking phones up videoing uh, the police doing what I say is a, a, an amazingly restrained job no, of, I think of the corralling cops have, I them. I think the cops have been good, and I don't think there's been, a, from what I gather, a lot of... Uh, 30 years ago, they'd have uh, a piece of wood up against their fucking heads, and, and they're well, complaining. That was only be well, here's the reason, 30 years ago, because back then, cops had no clue as to what to do when people were going, you know, go, you know <laughs> when you had a bunch of 20-year-olds like myself going berserk. Well, no, I wasn't 20 then. <laughs> yeah, 40, shaved, it was 40 years ago. Shaved a few off, didn't you? Oh, boy, did I shave. I can't I shave think... fucking enough off! <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, Lewis does actually look kind of disturbed, like he's just... Like, deep, oh, man. I know. He really goes, he's I really think like... I, I totally fucked up your day. <laughs> oh, no, no, you made it. I'll be able to... Yeah, but it's like, but it's going to come back in a dream state. <laughs> I'm going to have you standing and haranguing a crowd of Italians. You miss... <laughs> Anthony Mix is, like, comfortable and, and, and just screaming racist. Like, like a... Just... You, you have delicate poor balance, man's yeah. racism. Poor man's racism. <laughs> it's not... Get that. It's not fucking, like, a rich guy's... I yeah. Enjoyable life racism, man. No, it really kind is. Of a, it's still fury. Mm, yeah. We're going to need you in the big thing. I know. The that's big, a, I'm like a revolt. Anthony I'm, has I'm a lot rare, of anger. I'm raring to go. We need that's For a guy we that's need. well off, he's, he's got a lot of anger behind I him. I get angry at people that, uh, like, like the way Lewis is angry at me. For what I say, and that, I don't mean angry. Who was angry you mad at? Who was you mad at? Who was a tin knocker? But I mean, you that's know, a good what, question. I was a tin knocker. Good question. Who was I mad at? Let me see. Myself for not staying in fucking school and maybe uh, doing something that would get me out of the shit job I was in. I think that was the person I was most mad at was myself because I I fucked up and I looked back and thought, God, I could have done this, that, that, and I realized I had completely fucked up. Because I think that's, a, that's another part of why th this it probably won't be a revolt ever mm -hmm. is that. This country always has a lottery feel, like you can, even like though you oh, might, yeah. you, make you it. might well, make it somehow. It's that people. hope word. Oh yeah, it's the, you know, it's <laughs> how they can get poor people to believe you don't I, tax rich people because it's going to happen to me tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to walk right <laughs> into <this> shit. <laughs> I'm going to walk out my door and be taxed on the money I'm going to win tomorrow. Yeah, really? No kidding. I, I, ha I hate to be the bad guy, but we got to get Lewis out of here. We got an interview with Raw Dog that they're waiting for. Oh. Shit. Uh, there you go. Here's the deal with Lewis Black. The Prophet, new album in stores. I can't, I'm going to fucking pick this up. Lewis is fantastic. And I'll pay man. for it, Lewis. I'm not going to uh, download it. I would have brought one, but they fucked me. No, I'll pay it. <laughs> the Prophet's uh, available now on iTunes. Uh, fuck. Lewis has a new album out. I didn't know that. That's it's great. a 1991 album. It's an album that basically I did in 1991 in a club in Boston. Really? Where? Yeah. Knicks? Yeah. No, I don't even remember. So, you do anything wait, 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 new wait, these wait. days? Jesus. It, must, it may not have even been involved. Oh, hold on. He's done something. But hold on, there's something there. He's Lewis Black now. He's fucking getting retroactive. Uh, fucking yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Payment for what he should have got <laughs> back then. Exactly. <laughs> no, you're missing. Thank you. You're missing the point. Why did you decide to put out a show from 20 years ago? Because I wanted to. Because basically to say to people, people go, where did you come from? Well, there's where I fucking came from. But are you saying shit in 1991 that is now happening? No, I'm saying no. Basically, I was profit. He fucking well, that's why the profit. Well, I mean, basically, I I, you, if you look at the past, you see the future. Suck on that. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Yes. I can't wait to get this. And we'll have flying cars by 2000. But it wasn't, but it wasn't, get, it wasn't to take advantage of making some money right. <laughs> from a time when no one gave a fuck oh, about it. You're the man. Hey, and then Lewis is on Twitter, even though he hated Twitter last time he was uh, in here. It's the Lewis Black on Twitter. Yeah. The Lewis Black. Let's yeah. get him a lot of followers today. Yes. All right, listen. Uh, Big Mama oh Prod, Patrice O'Neill. Big Mama Prod's on Twitter. That's, that's, that's Helium thanks. Comedy Club starting Moose tonight. Yes. Yeah. If those fucking shows aren't sold out, I don't know what else to do for you, bro. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to do? I got that, uh, that fame should have uh, sold out the fucking Helium Comedy Club for you, at least. My woman's only half white. I got to marry a white bitch and fucking... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, and, your and woman's smiling, half white? Eh? Yeah, she's got a white mama. White mama? Yeah. No that shit. makes a great mix, because she's a... She's a pretty hot, girl, man. Your woman is fucking hot. Mm -hmm. She's a good girl, too. She's more she's more she's more of, she's <laughs> more of a good girl than she is hot. She's hot. She's hot. But I like I like that she's, she's a good girl. She's an absolute Definitely. liquor. Yeah. All right, listen, um Drew Boogie came up. This is perfect for today. Me, me, me.
Oh, really? The Me, Me, Me uh, song. Oh, it's the no. Jim Norton emo song. <laughs> now, E-Rock told me the short version is good. But if you want to really fucking piss off people, play the long version. Well, we have to play the long that version. That means the long version uh, for less, you today, motherfuckers. Less shit hour, too. That's right. You gotta be kidding me. And, uh, I don't know, we might be here tomorrow, we might not, I don't know. I would say... We'll figure it out. Tonight. Yeah, you know, guys, we'll figure it out because I, I Patrice, gotta sleep. thank you, bro. So it's always a pleasure. Patrice, Patrice always, man. Thank you. Thanks calling today, brother. I, I feel it for Patrice. Fame is fucking calling today. Dust off that phone. Stay by that phone. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Here's Drew Boogie.